time now for Your Money's Worth with your host, Mick Bazzulli. Now, here's the mixer. 502 on our Freaky Friday here in Fort Lauderdale. Boy, I tell you, we got a flood coming through, but it's it's really a spectacular day here. It was it was uh, just great weather all the way through. I'll take you up to about 7 o'clock. And we got a full card today. We're going to need a cut man later on in the 6 o'clock hour when we start talking about Fort Lauderdale. But we got a... We got a couple of great public companies coming on today. One is Cannabis Science, symbol CBIS, and I'm waiting on Raymond Dabney to call me. And uh, the other is our good friend Jerry Grisafi and Tom Schumann from from Rocky Mountain High, which is taking off and it's done, doing fantastic walking across. Great energy drink. Mix it with your vodka. A lot of vodka, boy, I'll tell you, especially this time of year. Are, are you just completely stressed out like I am? I mean, the traffic here in South Florida is unbearable anyway because we have all the snowbirds coming down. Canadians are coming down by the boatloads. Haitians are rolling in, rolling in on their rubber rafts. It's just crazy, and nobody knows how to drive. I mean, it took me about 45 minutes to get to the studio, which normally takes about 20 minutes, but you got people Christmas shopping, and it's just insanity you know, out there. I, I just can't take it. It's got me so stressed this holiday. I mean, we're fighting over everything. Friends of mine... I didn't go up, I was going to go see my, my grandsons, uh, you know, uh, just go up to uh, Tampa Bay. And because I, now I'm in the process of a move, so that's out the window. And then just the small details, like where are we all going this year? And when you when you negotiate with guys like Dennis G and, and Johnny Meatballs, people in their own restaurants, they got to have that seven fish dinner. That seven fishes, they call it. And it's a tradition, I guess, on Christmas Eve. So last year, Dennis, I, and the whole crew, we went over to uh, Anthony Bruno's at Runway 84. We had a great time. We had two bites of the thing, and we gave the, all the, everybody's dinner to the limo driver, and we decided to go out and get drunk. This year, we're going to go to Umberto's. Now, Walt is going to, he's one of the few people that make the, sh- the seven fishes. It's over on Commercial Boulevard, East Commercial Boulevard. Fantastic. It's really doing something different, being we eat lunch there five times a week anyway. I mean, we all, you know, we all hang out there. And then who's coming? Are we going to have 12 people, 18 people, 25, 30 people? How many people are coming? Because he has to know what to make. He has to know what to make. So he specifically said, listen, we got to get a head count. So we gave him about 10 or 12 people, but we know it'll be about 15, 20. But not everybody wants to eat octopus or, or, or mussels or whatever the seven fishes are. To me, I, I could care less. I could have a slice of pizza. He's got great pizza there. But anyway, it's a tradition. We're going. And I said, I don't want to hear about it anymore. Because the stress of this Christmas holiday has just got me crazy. Between the move, the traffic, the stinking Christmas carols, which I got to hear constantly. By the time they got to the 12 maids of milking, I just about lost my mind. I mean, and then that, oh, Mr. Grinch, that song... I mean, is that a Christmas carol? Is that a Christmas carol, for God's sakes? You just can't take it, let alone those chipmunks. Those chipmunks. You know, I, 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 I tell you, by the time I got to the studio, I had to double up on my blood pressure medication. It was just going off the chart. And I don't know if I'm alone. You know, I can see going out and you have to shop for 40, 50 people. I don't have to do that. Most of them, I just send money and that's the end of it. Because nothing worse than buying somebody something that they don't need or don't want. And they end up regifting it to you. I mean, it's just insane. But that's the Christmas season. That's South Florida. The traffic. And it feels like the 4th of July because it's supposed to get cool tonight down in the 50s. But it was 87 degrees today. I mean, it doesn't feel like Christmas. And we say that every year down here. Just don't sound... I'm going to tell you, I'm going to convert to Judaism. It's perfect because they move Hanukkah around and nobody knows what it is. And by the time you figure out when Hanukkah is, it passed and you said, listen, I'll catch up with you next year. It makes complete sense to me. It makes 100% cl- complete sense to me. But that's my day today here in Christmas season in Fort Lauderdale. And it's, it's just insane. And speaking of Fort Lauderdale, in the 6 o'clock hour, we're going to have Rick Marinari, uh, Marinari come on from uh, Cigar, uh, what is it, the Cigar <laughs> Republic. He's going to join us here in studio along with Chris, the owner of the new restaurant, Tony D's which is a spectacular Italian restaurant. And the resurgent over there on 33rd Street by Mortorano's, Cafe Mortorano's, a landmark, the Cigar Republic right next door. There's a deli in between them, and I think that deli is owned by Joe Pesci. It's fantastic. And then you got Archie's and a tattoo parlor that's open till like 3 o'clock in the morning. Around the 
corner, you can go visit Sue, Sue Shapiro at that bar, a good friend, a, a, new, a new friend, I'll call her a new friend. Right? And then you got about 16 restaurants there, about another 12 or 13 bars. I mean, it's just amazing, that area, how it's exploding. So we're going to cover that, too, when we come back, uh, right after we do the public company, which we're going to have Kibba Science on, uh, on right now. He's going to come and join me as soon as I come back from a break. Don't go away. I'll be right back. I'm the mixer here on WWNN 1474 Lauderdale, your time 507. Lupus. It's one of the cruelest, most mysterious diseases on Earth. Lupus strikes without warning, can ravage any part of the body, and has no known cause and no known cure. Its health effects range from a skin rash to a heart attack. Lupus is an unpredictable and misunderstood disease that's difficult to diagnose, hard to live with, and a challenge to treat. Help us solve the cruel mystery. We're the Lupus Foundation of America, the only national force devoted to solving the mystery of lupus. We lead the fight to improve the quality of life for all people affected by this devastating disease. To learn more about lupus and how we can help those who suffer from its brutal impact, visit us online at lupus.org or call the Lupus Foundation of America at 1-800-558-0121. That's 1-800-558-0121. I'm in almost every school bus and classroom. I go to school with your children. We say the pet of allegiance together. You see me around the neighborhood and you tell me that I'm a pretty good kid. Well, I'm one out of every five children in America and I'm struggling with hunger. This problem is closer than you think. My teacher tells me we can grow up to be whatever we want. I want to grow up to be someone who doesn't go to bed hungry. There's enough food in this country to feed everybody. Please visit feedingamerica.org today and find your local food bank for ways to help. Every dollar you donate helps provide eight meals for kids like me, quietly struggling with hunger. Together, we are Feeding America. Brought to you by Feeding America and the Ad Council. Five oh nine back on the show. Your money's worth on the mixer. You know, so much has been made about marijuana, the marijuana business today. It seems it's going everywhere. The other states are taking a look at Colorado, Washington State, our own government capital, Washington D.C. Actually, handing out seeds, uh, medical marijuana use, and of course, Oregon. Those, those are those are for recreational use. But there are twenty three states right now that have it legalized for. Um, medical purposes and we know that it works on glaucoma we know it works on cystic fibrosis people who have seizures okay that's that's a big problem today in america especially with younger kids asthma it works on a lot of different things the hemp itself and it doesn't have to have with uh, pcp so when the kid smokes a joint he's not going to swing from the chandeliers they remove that and it has to be engineered it has to be engineered properly and cbis cannabis science not only do they have the wherewithal to do this, but the three phases that are necessary for approval, including the lab, which has to be approved. And let's go to the telephone right now with Raymond Dabney, who is the CEO of Cannabis Science, their symbol CBIS on the OTC. Raymond, how are you? Happy holidays to you, sir. Good stuff, Nick. How are you doing? Very good, very good. You know, and... Uh, you know, it just came out the other day, in fact, day before yesterday, uh, that cannabis, uh, the medical practice and the medical usage here in the state of Florida, will be on the ballot this coming November. It just barely missed passing last time with 58.7% needing 60 to pass. And they kind of think it'll be a landslide right now. Your, your company has been at this in the engineering, and I'm looking at the credentials of the people here that are involved with you, Dr. Herman, Roscoe Moore, Dorothy Bray, yourself included. Okay, you guys are basically scientists. I mean, you know, it's not just uh, growing the marijuana. You actually engineer the strain for the certain diseases. You isolate it, you engineer it, you test it. Am I correct in that assumption? 
Absolutely. Um, you know, myself, I'm not a scientist myself, just to... No, you run the company. Uh, That's what your, your credentials <laughs> speak about, public and private sector, and you've been at it for many years, sales and marketing the product. But the other people Absolutely. here, chairman of the I'm CDC... The I'm the engineer behind it all. Absolutely. The credentials because, are unreal. You know, uh, head of the yeah. CDC, uh, <laughs> I'm looking at them over here. Uh, you've got some real heavy hitters involved with this company as far as it goes in engineering and in medical studies. They've done everything from HIV right across the board to syphilis. <laughs> you know, right? You know, I'm looking at the credentials, and marijuana has been known to help AIDS patients. In fact, absolutely, we've we've had some great success with some observational studies on some self-medicating patients in different jurisdictions. Um, you know, our our team is quite exceptional. Uh, Dorothy Bray, you know, she's leading up our our clinical development studies right now. Uh, in Europe, we just signed a new deal to commence studies in Europe. And, you know, she's done over 400 clinical trials um, worldwide while she was working with GlaxoSmithKline. Um, you know, some of um, such as Alan Herman and, and Ron um, you know, they've done some very spectacular things being a part of um, what is now known as PEPFAR. Right. And over in Africa, you know, they were actually involved in setting that up with the, um, with the president at the time, Clinton and Bush. Ron Dellums and, and Alan Herman were, you know, integral part of, of getting that going, which turned into PEPFAR, which is over an $18 billion um, uh, project in Africa right now. That's for AIDS Pardon. relief, okay? Yeah, I can read where yeah. both President Clinton and Bush... Were involved in this Absolutely. as far as pushing this across, and he was the he was the head, head guy. He was the head guy, PhD, medicine, molecular biology, which is exactly what you need nowadays when it comes down to hemp. We have his picture on the screen. If you're screaming, you know, we're streaming live all over the world. So if he's watching, he sees himself. Wear a tie next time. But uh, Absolutely. <laughs> no, but but. And, you know, not to leave out Rob, so he, he is the president of our scientific advisory board, and, you know, he held a very high position as the um, assistant surgeon general of the United States for a number of years. So he's got, obviously, a lot of experience as well. So the team is comprised of all the different components to go into a major uh, drug development program in ju different jurisdictions around the world. Um, mm -hmm. Most of the gentlemen that I mentioned to you um, are, are, are domiciled in Washington, D.C., uh, Dorothy being in London, where our main laboratories are. That we're now. Right. Now, you have a laboratory right now, on the, you have it operational, and it's all approved. Tell us about the approvals which you've been able to sustain, which is not easy. From my understanding, there's only three or four labs in the world that have this kind of approval. Well, I mean... You know, the situation is, is, is quite simple. Um, there's, you know, three target markets um, within the sector, you know, that we're focusing on. The first one, you know, being the largest, of course, is the pharmaceutical markets. And, you know, that's where you're targeting all the different types of cancers, um, AIDS and HIV, uh, anti-aging, arthritis, um, you know, brain trauma. Mm -hmm. um, you know, influenza, multiple sclerosis, um, autism, you know, the list goes on. So, you know, it's, it's difficult, of course, to target them all at the same time because you need to actually formally develop your, your drug protocols through, um, you know, a, 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 I guess what you call a, a, a CGMP compliant facility. Right. And with that, you know, you're talking about your, your grow has to be CGMP, your, your um, laboratory, your your formulation development, you know, the whole process has to go with the regulatory approval. Right. You know, the second market that we go after is the state-by-state -state initiative, and, you know, that's where you're talking about the individual states, like California, Colorado, Washington, where you have to have your full-circle operations. And that market is, you know, much smaller. You know, you're only talking about... 10, 20 billion as compared to over a trillion dollar industry with pharmaceuticals. 
And then the last one is your nutraceuticals and cosmeceutical markets, where you're talking about going into retail outlets such as, you know, Walmarts and stores with much lower levels of, of cannabinoids, if any, are allowed to go into those markets. Mm-hmm. So, you know, we have Schedule and Laboratory in London um, to provide, you know, the clinical trial study um, in Europe, and we also have our, you know, grow licenses and, you know, our formulation licenses, laboratory licenses, all those things required. So it's been a long road to get to where we are now, but, you know, as we just announced, we're certainly underway. And, you know, through the state-by-state initiatives, we've, we've had some great success in Colorado and in California. We're moving into Washington State, New York. Um, so, you know, it's, it's a wide spectrum of, 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 of offerings that we do have. Right. And, you know, I noticed that every state has their different laws as far as the medical uses of marijuana. Now they're starting to get a little more loose. You know, at first they made it almost impossible for anybody to go in the marijuana business after they pressed it. You couldn't even take any money. Now, just in the state of California, there are over one and a half million people that carry a marijuana card where they legally can get it through medical. And that's that's a lot of people. Absolutely. Um, You know, our target and and our plan was to be able to get our products out there as soon as possible so that people could use them and benefit, of course. And, you know, to take a drug through the FDA process could take a number of years, of course, but to go through a state-by-state initiative, you can get it on the market much faster. So, you know, it actually gives us the opportunity to have some real-world people using the product with these ailments so that we can get feedback, useful feedback, for when we go in and do our, our formal clinical studies. That's right. And clinical studies can take up to five years in some cases, three years in others, there's really no time element on it. I mean, it's obvious from, you know, it's funny how FDA, how, how it drags it out. And, and we ran into a situation over here. It was on the news here locally in, in Florida where uh, a, a, kid, a small kid about, I guess he was about eight, nine years old, he was having seizures, and it was terrible. And he was having between 12 and 20 a day. And since his father got a marijuana, he hasn't had a seizure in about six months. And yet the family is forced to break the law in order to keep the kid healed. And I don't know what parent wouldn't do that for their kid, you know, take a chance of going to jail, you know, because it does have an effect. We know it helps glaucoma. We know it helps seizures. We know it helps forms of cancer. We, and we know it's a stimulant. It also helps blood pressure. Now they're doing studies on that. So it's just a matter of time till all 50 states go ahead and say, here, here we go. But again... Even if they legalized it for recreational use, still not all marijuana helps all diseases. What you do now, if I'm not mistaken, and I know I'm correcting this, maybe our, our listening audience, you specifically engineer each strain of grass, of marijuana, to fight each type of disease individually. What has the best effect? How it works is, you know, it's a very profound plant being that the human body makes what's called endocannabinoids. Mm -hmm. And when you have a deficiency in these endocannabinoids and your body is not producing enough of them, it can't fight the ailment. And what the plant does is it creates what's called phytocannabinoids. So there's about 100 or more of these different phytocannabinoids within the plant. So what happens is, is when your body ingests these phytocannabinoids from the plant, they work with the endocannabinoids that your body is deficient, so now you're basically boosting your immune system to fight off these different diseases. Mm -hmm. So what happens then is you take it to the next level. So you have different types of strains. Everybody has probably heard of indica and sativa, and one is known to keep you awake, and the other one is known to help you sleep. In each one of those strains, there's the different levels of cannabinoids. Then you're talking about the the THC, the CBD, the CBCA, the CBA, the CDN. It goes on indefinitely. Mm -hmm. On on and on. So what happens is is each one of those different cannabinoids helps your body 
for different types of ailments. So based on the type of strain, some strains will have higher levels of THC, other strains will have higher levels of CBDs, which is one of the more common ones most recently. But what happens is that you start being able to scientifically identify the different levels of each one of those different cannabinoids to make a formulation to attack the different ailments. And that's mm -hmm. our specialty. That's, that's exactly what you're working on right now in your lab, in laboratories over in Europe. In doing so, we're creating an actual pharmaceutical drug that we can take through the FDA to get approved so a physician can write a prescription and it can be sold nationally. Right. That's, that's here in the United uh, States. But over in Europe, they seem to be a little more lax on this. So even if you develop something, you could actually take something to market in Europe or the Orient or someplace else before you can bring it here to the States for the simple reason the FDA drags their feet on a lot of cures. Well, I wouldn't say that, you know, they necessarily drag their feet. Um, you know, it's, it's as in most regulatory bodies, they have their process that they want to take uh, the items through. Um, in the FDA, you know, they have what's called a fast-track program. If there is an ailment, for example, where there is no cure, there is no therapeutic, um, uh, 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 there's no therapeutic medicine, there's, there's nothing to treat it, it will be considered an orphan drug. And, and, and it will be considered to go through what they call a fast-track program. Now, there are records of the FDA passing drugs within six months and putting them on the market. <laughs> so there are those opportunities that are available to us. Um, we've just gone through quite the foundational growth scenario, we'll call it, to get our company put into the position that we're in to be able to start these different drug programs for different ailments in different jurisdictions around the world. Because our sister company, we'll call it, is in London, and we have all our facilities targeting that market first. Right. Once we have our products approved, then we will come back and deal with the U.S. You know, it's funny because it is a plant that grows wild. You know, marijuana is a plant that grows wild. It's basically a weed. But the fact of the matter is that about 80% of the medicines in the market today all come from some kind of plant, be it algae, under the sea, up in the mountains, or on top of trees. You know, but to go ahead and restrict this, you know, I don't think you would have to, my own thoughts are, I don't think you would really have the scrutiny as you would of something else that didn't grow wild in nature. Is just basically a plant that you're smoking or you're injecting or you well, take it in pill form. And Nick, Nick, that's a very good point because one of the things that we do not condone or approve at all is smoking the plant. Mm -hmm. if you really shouldn't be smoking it at all. One marijuana joint is the equivalent of 20 cigarettes, I was told, on another show years ago. I don't know how true that is, but I can imagine so. You know, it's pretty strong stuff. Yeah, you, you just shouldn't be smoking, period, for the mm -hmm. damage you can do to um, What we do is we create different delivery methodologies. Mm -hmm. and you'll see that, you know, we're obviously not the only one. You have lozenges, you have extracts for skin cream, you have pills that are ingestible, you have um, juices, you have all these different types of delivery uh, methodologies, and of course, it's going to depend on the ailment. Right. If you have skin lesions from cancers, you're going to want an extract to put on topically, right? If you have internal pain or whatever else, you're going to want to ingest it. You're going to want something that you're going to ingest quickly that has a very quick um, uh, effect. Yeah, right. like morphine yeah. or something like that to kill the pain immediately. Well, there's, there's certain... Um, but morphine there's can kill you. <laughs> areas in your, on your body and in your body that ingest it quicker than others, mm -hmm. right? Um, your mouth is has a bunch of uh, receptors in it that are uh, very, um, let's just say, quick to respond. So um, taking pills, uh, sprays in your mouth, things like that 
you're going to get a much quicker reaction um, than if you were to, you know, take a hard pill and let it dissolve. First. Right, 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 right. No, there's no doubt about that. Now, I, I got a question. I, we had a caller call in and want us to ask a specific question about stock dividends. Do you see any stock dividends in the future? Meaning more stock um, or cash? We, 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 have, uh, we have definitely a history with our stock dividend. And for us, that is, is a home run. Mm -hmm. um, it's a grand slam, if you will. Um, what we have done is we have actually announced and we're in the process of comments with FINRA right now to complete two different dividends next. Right. The first one is for shareholders to date uh, going back to December 31st, 2010. And the second one, and they'll get a one for 10 in the new class of shares. And the second one is October the 9th, 2015, and they'll get a one for 100. Mm -hmm. What we did is, you know, we did our, um, our preliminary filing. We did our definitive filings already. You know, it, it takes, you know, 20, 30 days for each one of those. Then you have whatever comments or... or right, or you have 30 days to answer. Days. It could go on six months a year. Okay, once they start with the comments. I, that's, that's an understood law. Again, you're dealing with a regulatory body that has to put you through that process. Mm -hmm. And, you know, however fast I may want it to happen, I must go at their speed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we are right now, fortunately, we're in the final stages because we've done our preliminary, we've done our definitive, we've created the new class of shares. We now have three classes of shares. We have the preferred, we have the common, and we have the common class A. Right. The common class A is the shares that's going to be issued to all our dividend payout shareholders. Mm -hmm. um, what happens is, is now that we've done our preliminary and our definitive, we go through comments with the with FINRA. They ask questions, we respond. They have 20 days or so, I believe. I, I thought it was back. 30 days to come back with comments. Uh, it's, 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 it's some... And they always come back on the 30th day from what I remember. <laughs> Yeah, it depends on the type of regulatory filing it is. Uh -huh. They have different categories and different time frames for each one of them, right? Mm -hmm. I've been through enough of them to be aware of that. Um, so the point is, is that we're going through the comments with them right now. Right. And at some point, it's going to become um, relevant to us or, or obvious to us. It'll go live, as we say in the business. It'll go live when they say it's going to go live. But you're in the process, you're deep into it, you're in the back nine as far as going through the process, so I guess it won't be much longer. This is, this is what we are certainly hoping for. Right. Um, the main reason why and why I say the dividend the home run is because it triggers the new class of shares, which triggers our next thing. Um, in order to do all these fund development programs, you need to raise money. Right. Um, and we are in the process of negotiating for, you know, 15 to 25 million. Mm -hmm. We have some definite interest um, of, from a number of levels, amounts of money from different parties, um, the firms. Um, we are in discussion seriously with, with a couple of firms to actually represent us um, in this funding so that when uh, we are approved and we begin raising the money, uh, we'll have one firm as the go-to where everybody will um, process the funds through them, so to speak. So it looks and like it's going to be a busy year up ahead for you as far as growth, funding, and bringing in capital. It's going to be a banner year for us. There's, I, I'm, 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 I'm very, very, very pleased. We've been through a lot now is the point. And once we raise the money, that firm will then walk us through the uplifting process to get to NASDAQ. Right. And you know, once you have the money in the bank, at that point, there's company structure things you have to have, you have, to have in place, such as different committees and number of shareholders and da da da. Few of those things we already do have in place, so it won't be too difficult to get the rest in place. It's now a matter of the trigger is the dividend. Mm -hmm. You should 
issue the dividend shares, and then we start filing for a, a new trading symbol just for that class of shares. Exactly, and it's a secondary I, trading symbol. And the shareholders of existing of the existing shareholders, so there's no mistake, will receive a dividend in the new new QCIP number, new symbol, and just for owning CBIS, there will be participants in the new company. I'm correct in that assumption. Now, if you sell your stock, you get nothing. What do you mean if you sell your stock? If they sell CBIS stock now, cannabis science, they would not be entitled to a dividend. A shareholder of record. Of record. On October 9th, 2015, will receive a dividend. Oh, okay, so they're in then. Okay, there's no expiration in front of us. It's only behind us. Yes. So anybody who's yes. in at that time, okay. December 31st, 2010. Shareholders of record will receive their dividend as well. Because it was a certain number at that point. Right. Uh, that number won't change. Mm -hmm. We've already identified what these numbers and are. Who they are. And, and who they are. Right. The amount of shares that will be outstanding in that new class. And then the plan is to raise the money in that new class. You know, if we're fortunate and we can open the stock at a dollar, five dollars, three dollars, ten dollars, whatever fortunate price we are, you know, that's where the stock will trade at. And then we'll have a completely different uh, composition of the company at mm -hmm. that point in time. Well, it sounds like exciting things are heading in the year ahead, and I'm looking forward to bringing you back on the show. You know, so we can discuss the progress. Maybe, maybe in early February, you can come back and you know keep us uh, abreast of what's going on. You know, with cannabis science and how far along you're coming. Absolutely, we have some great exposure programs in store for the public. Um, there's a lot that we are putting together to. Um, to make people aware on a national and international basis um, the, the benefits of these drugs that we're creating for them. No doubt about There's it. There's a lot of people that aren't aware of it and that aren't, aren't educated enough, so we're about to change that. Well, there's no doubt about it because 23 states now have it. There'll be 40 probably by next year, and I believe within the next five years, I think all 50 will be in probably half will be for recreational use. But uh, again, listen, Raymond, you got some exciting things going. I'm looking forward to bringing you back. I want to wish you a very happy, happy holiday season. And we'll get back and we'll get back with cannabis science. The symbol is C B I S. They're on the OTC. And uh, any questions you want in cannabis science, you can email me here at the studio, and I'll be more than happy to forward them to you, Raymond. Absolutely, 100%. We're, we're very fortunate, we're blessed, and, you know, we're on the move, and, you know, we're just looking forward to getting to the next level. No doubt about it. It sounds promising. Okay? Thanks again, Raymond, and we'll right. talk to you soon. Okay, Raymond I Dabney. appreciate you, man. Raymond Dabney yeah, from, Cannab you too, sir. from Cannabis Science, symbol CBIS. We'll be back right after this. I'm going to come back to the show. We'll come on with uh, Jerry Grisafi and our good friend Tom Schumann over at Rocky Mountain High. The beverage drink sweeping across the nation. WNN News Time, 535. I wanted to be in the military since I was a kid. I served in the United States Air Force. I served a total of 16 years. I was deployed uh, 13 times. On my second deployment, four bombs I hit my vehicle. And at 19 years old, that's the first time I ever saw somebody die. Coming back, I was raging. I started having pretty horrible nightmares. I would wake up in the middle of the night, sweats. I started drinking a lot. I felt worthless. I guess I never recognized it in myself. Eventually, one day, I just walked into the VA hospital and said I'd like to see somebody. Don't suffer alone. You gotta find that link with somebody that'll make you let it go. It all starts with going to the VA. There's a whole community of veterans that just want to help you out. It's for the guys who couldn't come back, so you owe it to them to live well, because they're not here with their families. Visit maketheconnection.net. 
Learning shouldn't stop when the school bell rings. As a parent, you're a key component to your child's education team and the key to making sure that learning never stops. I'm Andy Ford, president of the Florida Education Association. Here are a few things you can do at home to help make education and learning a priority. Talk to your child about school every day. Take your child on family outings to parks, community festivals, and local landmarks. Encourage your child to count money, calculate change, read menus, read newspapers, and write letters. Talk to your child about your family, the holidays you celebrate, and the foods you eat. Learning doesn't stop when your child gets home from school. It's just the beginning. Working together, parents and teachers can make this a successful school year for every student in Florida. A message from the Florida Education Association. Great public schools are a basic right for every student. Five thirty-seven on a freaky Friday here in Fort Lauderdale. I am the mixer, and we got a big card today. I tell you, that's something with that cannabis science stuff, huh? Well, I tell you, if it was up to me, I could invent the wheel. But the next group of guys I got on—they're regular on the show. They come on all the time. I've been plotting their progress since day one. They took their product to market around March, April. They sold out everything in, uh, and I found that amazing, at Amazon, they sold out their product in 15 minutes of the first day with Totally Hemp Crazy. At that time, they changed the symbol, and now it's Rocky Mountain High Brands. Hello, fellas. How are you? Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Hello. Yes, sir. minutes of the first day with totally hemp crazy at that time they changed the symbol and now it's rocky mountain high brands hello fellas how are you happy holidays merry christmas hello yes sir hello can you hear me yeah it's the world series of uh i guess little league football well if there's anything like is uh, your partner was the mvp in the Orange Bowl, 1974, played for Papa Joe Paterno in the Penn State Nittany Lions in a victory. Oh, I think they beat Nebraska, if I'm not mistaken. But he's, uh, better. he's better than his daddy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you really? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, oh, tell him to come over here and meet his new agent. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, this kid's going to be big. I, t- I tell you the truth, I've been looking at your product. Okay, and I see that you're walking right across the Midwest with it. And... Midwest is going gangbusters. And that's what I mean. You know, you, you went out and you bought some vans. It seems you're doing everything you said you would do back in February. I think it was January when you first came to Florida, and we met over at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse. You hadn't even released the product yet, but you had samples of the flavors, and now you've, ex- you've expanded that. And, uh, you know, every place I go, you know, I mix it with vodka. It's, the, it's probably the tastiest drink out there. And it's a hemp-based drink, and that's the crazy part about it, yeah. along with the can, Rocky Mountain High. I mean, you can't get any better than that. So what do you see? How, how, what do you, how, if you were to gauge for A, B, C, or D, like we were in school, what would you rate your progress this year so far since since it well, began? i tell you what I'll rate it is very good, but most of our investors right now think it's, it's terrible because they, they want us to be, you know, a dollar a share overnight. Yeah, well, and, uh, you almost got there, too. You went from a half a know, cent we're, 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 to 32 we're, cents in less than two weeks. Hmm? Yeah, we've, all, we've only been doing this nine months. People have to realize you cannot be nationwide <laughs> overnight. No, no, no. One, it takes a lot of money, which we don't have enough money to do that. So we've got to crawl before we walk. Yeah, but you, 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 you see, well, I don't think you're crawling. I think you're kind of goose-stepping because... Well, I watched you go from Washington State all the way through Texas to working out toward the middle of the country now. Yeah, right. you, know, you know, again, you know, the story of Red Bull, okay, the story is amazing. That Red Bull was a complete failure, a complete failure. It was in bankruptcy. And then the guy who came on with you and his people, they got rid of everybody who wore a suit over there, and they hired right. kids, and the next thing you know, look at them today. They didn't start out right. that well. They were in a penny a share. I mean, they were doing terrible, terrible. That's correct. You know, and your board, you, your board consists of some of those people. You know, Tom was with well, Dr. Pepper for you. You guys are beverage people. You know, you know you're beverage people. You know. Where we're going with this product, 
you know, we've got five products now, five SKU numbers. Um, the next production run will be the 16 ounce can. Um, absolutely delicious what we're doing now. We should have the, the uh, protein bars and energy bars out hopefully by the end of Jan- uh, January, maybe early February. And those are all hemp infused uh, protein bars, energy bars, and a chia hemp uh, crisp, oh. which is all of them very good. Oh, and they're all hemp based, the protein bar. I remember, I didn't know you were that far along the last time we spoke yeah, to you. It, it, it was in the development it, stage. To be finished. You, you were but, testing. Uh, you were testing it the last time we spoke to you as far as tastes go and so on and uh, so forth. And so you've come that far now that you were able to go ahead and take this thing to market. Yeah, they're as good as our drink, believe me. Uh, these are really good drinks. Nobody's really but complaining let me talk about a little it. Bit, let, me talk, uh, Mick, let me talk a little bit about concerns, probably. If anybody out there would like to call in. Sure, no problem. 888-565-1470. 888-565-1470. You can call in, ask Jerry your questions. I'm sure he's he's got the answers. You know, and, and, and we're going to talk about, you know, what's coming up in the coming year ahead. I mean, you know, right. this is a brand new year. This is, this is about over now. You know, where do you think you're going next year? Uh, you know, I, 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 I can't wait for you to come to Florida. We brought, on a new, we brought on a new social media company last month when we were in New York. Uh, One Key, which is uh, very powerful in social media. They're just now getting their feet on the ground with our product. And after the first year, they'll really start reaching out to brand our product through social media. They're already working with every distributor. They've been on the phone with every distributor. Mm-hmm. It's set up for the new year. So we're going to be real big in social media come January. Now, what, about, uh, what, about, what about Amazon? Is, are you still active? Amazon, is, Amazon sales have sagged a little bit, which is uh, reasonable because... Most of the people that bought it now can buy it in stores. <laughs> uh, so there's no need for Amazon, you know. Amazon's good good if you can't get it. States that were not there, people can still order it. But places where we are, uh, you know, you can go in and get it now. We're, as I said, in the Midwest now, we're moving out good. We're in quite a few Super Americas, high uh It's moving real well in that area. We're starting to get in a few 7-Elevens in Texas. The new 7-Eleven in, in Las Vegas just took a bunch of product on. And, uh, you know, you want to hit all those? it just takes time to get everywhere. It's, it's, a, it's a bootstrap game. you gotta, you got to knock on doors and get in the doors. Yeah, that's, that's the whole thing. That's the main reason we had to move from the, the leaf, which I thought was beautiful on the can. That's your carpet logo. It will always be our carpet logo. But we had to change to a snowflake. And I'm really not, to people out there, you listen, I'm really not pleased with how, how Rexham did our snowflake this time. It didn't come out like it was supposed to. And we'd already built a billion cans, so I had to go, <laughs> I had to go with them. That's, uh, so the new one will be a lot better looking snowflake than this one, and it will be 16 ounces. Well, it's what's in the can that counts. I mean, you know, I've tasted your product. I've been drinking it for a long time. You sent me a couple of cases of it. I use it when I mix drinks, people at parties, when they come over to my house. You know, it's always out there. It's a conversational piece because nobody's ever seen anything like it over here. You know, uh, so. you know, I never, the first time I met you, I didn't think anything of it. one 1470 Let's go to the phone and Joe Roger. Hi, can you hear me? Can you? Uh, Got a question for Jerry? Okay, great. Hey, guys. Uh, yeah, so I'm Joe. Uh, Jerry... You know, longtime fan, of course. Um, oh, Joe. Oh. And, and in regards to the uh, a lot of the different concerns, you know, every day I'm in the forums all the time, multiple forums, Yahoo, you know, the investor forum and the investors hang out and iHub. And, and obviously the big question is the audited financials. And I know there was a delay way back when because of, of what happened. Uh, so... And, uh, you know, I mean, explain the rumors are, are going around and when it's going to be released. And, I will and, never, uh, ever obviously, it's the big question today. So, a day to a time. What's the progress on that? When an auditor tells you they're going to have something done, especially the first two year audit has taken a lot longer than we ever expected. I think we're, I think we're, I think we're next week from having a sign off. But they have made us. 
they have made us do some things on here that are absolutely uh, unbelievable how they want to charge things like stock that we gave for, you'll see it in our footnotes when it comes out, stock that we gave to people for services like Harry Dernick, okay? I've got to value him at a real big number for whatever that stock is trading for in that day, which will show a million dollars, okay? That I actually yeah. I didn't pay that. It was all paper. So they're making us write out right. a bunch of paper losses, which is not money losses, but paper losses, because of stock that we gave out for services rendered. So a lot of this right. has been trial and error and getting it done. But once it's behind us, the next one will be a lot easier because, believe me, they have gone through every document I think we have ever created in this company and looked at it. Well, Which is a good thing. Who are you using right. for so, your audit, Jerry? So, uh, Pritz and got me out of New Jersey. Mm-hmm. They're a midline auditing firm. You know, big, a big firm will never take us right no, now. They're, they're, they're a midline firm. They're just too small for that. Uh, but believe me, I want the audit finish as, as bad as anybody because it's holding me back from some major investment in the company. And you know, I scream about that every day. I have to have it done because I... I can't raise the big money to expand how I want to expand without that audit being finished. Then I can file. Once the audit's finished, then I can file the Form 10 and uplift this and get it to the QB. Yeah, that's where you really want to be. Right. The whole world opens to you. A lot, of, a lot of chatter on the things. Oh, my God, he's saying DB. It's not QB. What is he doing? He's lying to us. There's no lie. There still is a DB. And you go to BB and then you pay OTC markets to become QB. About eight, nine thousand dollars now they upped it. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. Mm-hmm. exactly. Yeah. And when you guys you'll jump right over. You guys uh had did an excellent job. Snag in the North Carolina hemp company. Uh excellent excellent uh uh win there and so they dumped Canada Energy, which was obviously a decision that they didn't really necessarily want it to happen, but it just worked out that way. So you guys have, have won big time with that company, they'd have distribution deals all over the place, and feel they can ex- extend the can. Oh, uh, yeah, they're to, good. You know, uh, multiple locations. So uh, I, I have no doubt Brian, that this company is, is going to be really expanding. Good. A fantastic. You got to talk one at a time, fellas. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Go, go ahead and well, finish. Well, I, that was that was it. I mean, uh, I, I mean, audit financials, you know, should be coming out next week, and obviously there's delays, but. Uh, no doubt that this company is going places. So you guys, uh, keep up the good works, and uh, I have a wonderful night. Very, very good. Thanks for your call. 1-888-565-1470. 1-888-565-1470. If you got any questions for Jerry. Okay, let's go to Roger on the phone. Welcome to the show, Roger. Oh, thank you very much. Um, it's a pleasure, Jerry. How are you? Um, um, enjoy your product. I live in the uh, Fort Lauderdale, Florida area, and uh, two questions. One, uh, I am a stockholder. I uh, have been for the past year, and I uh, was wondering if um, you're going to have any stock splits. And the second question no. is, um, no. we don't have a distributor down in this area. Of the, I'm working on the distributor. Dr. Dr. County would like to know when that's going to happen. Yeah, we've had a few guys want to call with us down there, but... Uh, they didn't want to hang up now. Uh, Go ahead, Jerry. We got some. We got some good ones working now. And I think Mick is even trying to help us. For some yeah, of yeah. I've, I've taken it over to a couple of big distributors down here, and uh, it's just a question of getting everybody on the same page and get, sitting down with them. And that's the, that's the, seems the only delay. We also have some people working up in the Manhattan area, okay, and trying to do something up there for them. You know, and, and yeah. you know these people are pretty good at what they do. Uh, you know, they brought us in, people I know from different parts of business, which I'm involved in. And I go back with Jerry more than a decade. You know, and, and uh, you know, I know him as a hard worker and a man of his word. So, you know, it, 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 it's like anything else. You know, I've tried my hand at uh, distributing different products over the years. And it takes, it takes a tremendous amount of effort. And like he said earlier, it takes money. I mean, the world don't run That's on anything right. but money. And, uh, the, you know, the sooner you get the money in, the faster you grow. And that's really what it's like, I'll tell you. But thanks for your call. 1-888-565-1470. 1-888-565-1470. You know, Jerry, you can't go by the, tra- by the, uh, by the what do you call it, by the chat rooms 
And, uh, no, no, no. I don't even pay any attention to them because uh, uh, chat rooms are made up of, of criminals. That's not, what I'm saying. Not, you know, you got short guys that bash you are criminals. You got shorters on there. You got anonymous people, and, and you know, just crazy. Let's go to the phone. We got a different Roger on the phone. Let's talk to Jerry Grisafi. How are you, Roger? Welcome to the show. Hey, thank you very much. And Jerry, we absolutely, positively love your product. Where are you calling uh, from, Roger? Where, where should yeah, I? Yeah, and where should one of my first questions up? is, how many stores is Rocky Mountain High in at this point? I'm going to guess that we're we're well over a thousand. Uh, I think we're probably a thousand in the Midwest, uh, Minnesota, North Dakota, South Dakota, uh, Wisconsin. I'd say in that area, that's uh, that's M and S. That's uh, Sean Burkle. He is really doing well. He's got like thirteen trucks out there with people running. I know he just got in twenty three uh, Super Americas. He got in. He's in about fifteen or twenty high V's. And remember, Hy-Vee has got like 270 stores. Super America's got 275. I look for him to be in most of all of those stores after the first of the year. Uh, he's starting to do. He's starting to really pick up some 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 steam there and some good people. Uh, same way up in New York with Epic. They're starting to. Make, I think we're going to see some big things in New York after the first of the year. Uh, this time of the year in December. Most of the buyers stop seeing anybody until the mid, about mid January. So I think mid January they've got some appointments with big people. Now that we have the snowflake on the can, we can get in the, the bigger stores. They wouldn't let, allow that. They wouldn't allow the marijuana leaf. Am I right in that assumption? Uh, it wasn't the marijuana leaf. It was a hip leaf, actually. But right. It's still, you know, to them it was a marijuana leaf. Mm-hmm. Okay, <laughs> I wouldn't know the difference. Thanks for your call. One eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy. 565 1470 one 565 1470 if you want to talk to Jerry. You know, I, I got to say truthfully, you know, you're at it, what, about eight months since you released the can? Nine I actually months? actually started selling it in March. Correct. Okay, okay, because I, I remember you had the product, but you didn't go into mass producing in a can. And to have a million cans on the shelves out there... You know, in that area that you said, that's, I think that's a terrific growth. You know, for any company, I, I know how well I didn't do it. You know, providing you had the, you know the the wherewithal to expand, and you know, if McDonald's wouldn't spend four hundred million dollars a year in advertising if they didn't have to. Believe me, but they tried to cut it back once before, and as soon as they did, their sales dropped seventeen percent over a two month period. So they poured the money back in and catch up on the deficit. Because if you don't stay in front of the public's eye, they're not going to find you. And it takes big right. money to do that. That's, you know, that's where we don't have enough money right now to advertise. Like mm-hmm. that. That's why we use social media. Right. But remember, yeah. fellas, social media is where our buyer is. Mm-hmm. Our, our buyer is 16 to 25, basically. Mm-hmm. They don't watch television. No. No. All they do is look at their phone all day long. You know, you, you're 100 percent right the because the people we have—that's who they key to. That guy <laughs> with, with the phone in his hand, so they can target market. It's their that's generation. They're working with these distributors right now to hit those target markets with with advertising and go in certain stores and, and go in the uh, IV over on Jones Road right now. They've got Rocky Mountain High at two for four. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's that's how we're gonna we're gonna do it. I mean, you, you know. You look at it, and, and I remember when we, when I was, when I met with you and Tom back last year when you just began, and he told me the story of Red Bull, and he knows because he was there when it all was happening, and he said the first thing that the, 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 the hatchet men did was fire everybody in a suit, and they hired everybody under thirty years old, and that's what turned it around. It was their generation. I mean, somebody like my age is going to go out there and drink these energy drinks, a five hour energy, or the other, my blood pressure will go off the chart. I mean, you know, I'm afraid of stuff like yeah. that. It's hard enough when you drink six cups of coffee in the morning to get yourself up and running. And those energy drinks out there, when you crash, you come down, man, fast. Let me tell you. You know, which is something... Drinks, that won't happen. That's exactly what I was going to bring up with. Your drink doesn't have that. No. We're going to take another call, Jerry. Okay, I'm sure. just waiting on it. Okay, let's go to... Brett. Okay, Brett, you're on the air. Thank Welcome to the show. Your money's worth. I'm the mix to your own with Jerry Grisafi. Hello? 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 Hello
Hello? Yeah, Brett. He hung up. We dumped him. He dumped himself. That's okay. <laughs> well, what are you going to do? But, uh, you know, I, t- I tell you the truth. What, do you, what, what, what is the first thing coming out of the gate this, that you can talk about? I know you're restricted because of the level playing field run. And we only got a few minutes left until the 6 o'clock hour. What, 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 are, you, what are you going to come out of the gate with first this year? What do you think? Something you can uh, tell us. Is that the drapes? Yeah. Yeah, we have the five drapes, and in, in January, end of January, we'll introduce the uh, energy bars. Uh, Are you going to sell those energy bars on Amazon? And the reason I ask you, yes, there was a company that came out with energy bars. They sold 12 million energy bars. In, it was, yeah, it was 12 million energy bars in the first day. And today I wow. see them in every... Every 7-Eleven, they looked like a Kit Kat, and I can't think of what the... Well, it wasn't an energy bar. It was something else related to, to, to energy, okay? But, you know, to come out and sell 12 million of them... Okay, we got Brett back online. I have to find that un- unreal. Brett, welcome back to the show. This is The Mixler. Uh, welcome. Thank you. Well, you what question do you have for Jerry? You're dying to ask something. Uh, yeah, Jerry, I was wondering about the... Uh uh, PR about the Asian uh, orders, how that's coming along, and also the Canadian order, uh, maybe some clarification on uh, the, uh, so the Asian payout. order. Now, it's two Asian. you got the one in India right now who's still not passed government approval to get the product in. Uh, the Asian order in the China is still in the mill. You know, it was supposed to have happened, you know, two months ago. It hadn't happened yet, but I hear it's going to happen after the first of the year. What are the regulatory the issues Canadian over there? The order has got a hold up on it right now. The, what they call TMAL up in Canada is still not approved their label. The, everything's ready to go to start production, but the label's not approved going into Canada yet. I think, I think as of two or three days ago, we may have their problem worked out. May have to take natural off of the, off of the can. Even though the products in the can are natural, the Canadian rules are pretty strict when you use the word natural. You pretty much just can't use it. <laughs> so hopefully we'll work through the, the governmental side of this deal and uh, get it out of our way so we can go produce the product. What about China? How hard is it difficult over there? I heard that, you know, I, you know people I know that go over there with gambling and everything else, they, they, seem, they seem to tell me that they're easier to work with than the United States. <laughs> I don't know how we work with a hemp drink. Let me tell you something. Uh, you can't even bring the hemp drink into some some countries over in, in the Asia area. Mm-hmm. Even though it's uh, it's legal, they won't take it. Mm-hmm. So, you know, I don't know whether we're getting it in India this year or not. Who knows? Mm-hmm. Uh, that thing's been dragging off for five months over there. But that that's not unusual. Even in our liquor deal, we tried to do it six months with the U.S. government to try and get a liquor license to produce the wine-based drinks we were going to get. Amazing. And, you know, some things, things just don't go like you think they want to go. You know, you start off with good intentions and then you get caught up in the red tape. And right now, I don't care whether I produce an alcoholic drink or not, I'm still fed up with, the, <laughs> with that size of, the, size of the deal. I don't know whether I want to fool it to it. I hear you. We've got our hands full right now with what we've got. Sounds like you have every bit of it full right now, Jerry. I got to tell you, I got we're coming up to the six o'clock hour. I got to, I got to cut you down. But I'll tell you what, I'll bring you back. I'll take you back in a couple of weeks when Tom's available. That way we can have you both on. We'll take calls again. Okay, as soon as you come out with that energy bar, let me know. You come right back on the show. All right. Right. You if anybody wants to just email me, I do answer. Uh, give, me, give me your email address, Jerry. Please give it out over there. RockyMountainHighBrands.com. Jerry at RockyMountainHighBrands.com. You got it. Listen, have a very Merry Christmas, my friend, to you and your Listen, family. Everybody else out there, have a Merry Christmas and keep the faith. We're going to make the faith. No doubt about right. it. In a couple of weeks, you come back with Tom Schumann as soon as he gets back with his son's $50 million contract. <laughs> Playing football. God bless you, Jerry. Good having you here all the time. Bye-bye. I'm the Mixer. You're on WWNN Radio 1470, streaming wild all over the place. And Kenny behind here on the boards. We got everybody. I see Chris and Nick have come in. We're going to do a little cut up. We'll be back right after this. Your time, 601.
After the phone interview, I assumed the apartment was mine. But when I got to the place and the manager saw me, he told me it was no longer available. My husband and I wanted to see all the neighborhoods with great schools, but our real estate agent only showed us the communities where she thought we would be more comfortable. I was so excited to move into my new place, but now that I'm here, I found out that the landlord is charging me higher rent than my neighbors. Now that doesn't make me feel very welcome. These individuals may have experienced housing discrimination. The Fair Housing Act prohibits discrimination because of race, color, national origin, religion, sex, disability, and familial status. If you've experienced discrimination, call 1-800-669-9777 or visit www.hud.gov slash fairhousing. Live free from housing discrimination. Count on Kubota, Florida Kubota Dealers.com. Brought to you by Kubota. You can count on Kubota to help you get your toughest jobs done with ease, comfort, and efficiency. Whether you need a compact tractor, zero turn mower, or diesel utility vehicle, let Kubota help you get your work done. Find your local Kubota dealer at Florida Kubota Dealers.com. Talk 1470, WWNN, Pompano Beach, Boca Raton, Miami, Fort Lauderdale. Owning your own business is one of the most rewarding things you'll ever do, but it certainly isn't easy. For nearly 50 years, business owners have been getting the help they need from SCORE, all for free. My SCORE mentor helped me take the first step. He helped me create a business plan and helped me implement it. SCORE mentors are passionate about sharing their expertise to help small businesses achieve success. I could not have done it alone. Whether you're a startup or an existing business, SCORE mentors can help you achieve your goals and help your business grow. With more than 12,000 volunteers with real-world business experience, SCORE is ready and willing to help make your dreams come true. SCORE helped me to make the unimaginable possible, all for free. Visit SCORE.org to get started today. SCORE, for the life of your business. If you suffer from excruciating back pain, do not have surgery. Call Dr. Fernando Ranella, MD, and ask him about the new ozone therapy and how it can eliminate your back pain once and for all. End your suffering today. Call Dr. Fernando Ranella, the Center for Back Pain Management, 561-819-6325. That's 561-819-6325 or injectpainaway.com. Taking over-the-counter or prescription drugs unnecessarily is a drag, whereas feeling great like you used to is the way it ought to be. Learn how to feel, function, and perform to your full health potential. Tune in to the Dr. Bob Martin Show, Sunday morning at 10 on Talk 1470 WNN. 604, back on the show here, your money's worth. The Vic Pizzulli Show. Live out of the Beasley Studios here in beautiful Fort Lauderdale. We got a front coming in, some cold weather coming, traffic's all over the place. People are wilding in the streets, they're shopping, they're making me crazy. My blood pressure's 250 if it's 110, but whatever. <laughs> as long as I don't explode here on the air. We joined, you know, Fort Lauderdale, there's an area in Fort Lauderdale right now. It's called, what is it? It's called the North Beach Shops. The North Toronto. Beach Shops. And so if, uh, I guess you can say A1A in the beaches and then uh, uh, Oakland Park. Park Boulevard. The gentlemen I have here with me now have two fine establishments there. And there are so many that this is actually unseating Las Olas as the place to be. Number one, you have... Okay, my my favorite place is your place, Cigar, because I can smoke cigars there. Cigar Republic. Thank you, Mickey. Okay, Mickey's here from Cigar Republic. And the new restaurant, that he, uh, he's got one in Rochester, been there 15 years, on the water up in Rochester. If you're from that neck of the woods, if you're watching this online, okay, Tony D's right here. And Chris, it's great to have you on the show. You put a Thank fortune you. in that place, and it's absolutely beautiful, both of you. Thank you very well, much. Thanks very much. We just did the other side. The man cave, as I like to call it, with the leather chairs and the you leather call couches. It the man cave, yes, but it, it's the Rocky Patel Signature Lounge, in addition to the bar Cigar Republic USA. You know, it's funny, because last night, you had the girls, you got some beautiful girls, they're all dressed up in these oh, yeah. sexy Santa Claus outfits, and then, like, Parnelli Jones, he gets on a golf cart, 
and they went around the whole area. And yeah, they out. came by. They, they, did they come by your oh, place? They came in. I, I, mean, I, I, I saw them take off on this giant golf cart with these beautiful girls and the driver. All right, I, I never saw him again. He no. disappeared. <laughs> I, I, he went into the abyss. Well, we were promoting the Christmas party that we're having tomorrow night uh, yeah, at right. 7 o'clock. So. So, so it should be on the screen if uh, he's got it back there. He'll put it up there. Are you giving away free champagne and everything else? Free champagne, 7 to 9 p.m., but the party's on until 3 in the morning. You know, it's funny because that area now, when you look at what's there, okay, next to you, you got Steve Mortarano. Yeah, we're two doors okay. down from Steve Mortarano, okay. infamous Mortaranos. <laughs> the infamous Mortaranos. <laughs> and, right, and right in between us is the Italian bakery. Uh, you you got to get a little closer to Mike? Okay, you got it. And Kenny right behind the, he, he watches out for us. Sure, he does. Well, I've been with Kenny for years, years, over a decade, okay? Back when I had hair. But uh, find my hair. Did I leave it back there? <laughs> but the point is, you know, that area now, you got Sue Shapiro with that bar, where she brings in all these artsy entertainers from, from the, the theater district. And she does a good guy. That's correct. My girl from Boston. I love her. Okay, you got Candace with 33rd Street, knocking him dead. Piano play. I sing in there every night. All right. Then you got Kathy Vassala with Fishtails. Yeah. You got the solo pasta across the street. The whacked out twins that run uh, Blue Jean Blue Blues, 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 Denise and Diane. Yeah. Good spot, Jack. I mean, every you night. got the boardroom where you are. You're there. There's a bunch of other places there, which I won't mention because I don't like them. But the point <laughs> is, all right, that area is hot. You got a tattoo parlor right next to you. Know, you got Archie's. You got that fantastic deli. You got Mortarados. Then the tattoo place that's open till who knows when. I don't think the guy ever closes. No, I think he's open 24 <laughs> hours. The lights always Okay, so when we all get whacked out, we can go out of there with all kinds of stuff tattooed. And get a tattoo. I mean, you know, I've seen it. I see Dennis Rodman in there a bunch of times. I don't, he don't have any more body left to tell. He even did the back of his ears. I would not even think of that. How would you even think he put spider webs on the back of his that, ears? That happens to be one of the best tattoo parlors in Fort Lauderdale. Mm -hmm. I've been there 30 years. Really? really? Shout out to Damien. Damien, we love you. You're the best. Really, for a guy who yeah. don't have any tattoos, yeah. can't remember that much. Neither one of them, neither one of them has tattoos. We love Damien. We won't got to get his drunk one and take his over there. I should put a dollar sign on my head. He got a price on his head. All right, but but the truth is, you yeah, really, you really, you really knocking him dead there. And you, 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 your place is just spectacular. Thank you. Everybody yeah. I know who goes in there, and you have music now during the day. Or we do a happy hour, a uh, little live music mm -hmm. between uh, f five and seven. And all you got to do is walk around the block and you're at his place. Over, I go get a cigar with him. Have a drink and a smoke over. Man, I bought dinner for one of your uh, bar bartenders the other day as a tip. And you, know, and you guys ran it right over to him. You got yeah. some fellow from London over there. Uh, yeah. He's a nice guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jamie, yeah. After 9 p.m., we actually have the Tony D menus in the cigar bar. So you could call, order the food, they bring it right over. That's phenomenal. And then you could eat, smoke, and drink on the one roof. We're the only bar in town. I, that, that is phenomenal. I mean, you know, I don't know. You got Bo Camp is down the block. We left him out. What is that? It's right. like 20,000 square feet on the water? Yeah. yeah. They, they do a great job over there. Came two years ago. Kim was my, I did a lot of radio with Kim back in the day. Right. He comes into the bar. Yeah, we know him well. Manager Mike there does a great job as well. They spent twelve million dollars building that restaurant two years ago. That's phenomenal. One hundred and sixty-five flat-screen TVs. Jeez. So if we go, everybody gets their own TV. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. You know, you can only see one at a time. Man. You can't. You know, I just can't double test like I used to. Okay, eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy. Anybody who says anything intelligent, the first, uh, the third call is going to get a gift certificate right here, fifty dollars gift certificate to Tony D's. Okay, so if you have something good to say about that location, if you've been down there, if you're a stranger and you're just going to go ahead and snort a gift certificate, I'm not going to give it to you. All right, you got to be intel intelligent. And I know it's very hard out there in Fort Lauderdale to find anybody on a Friday night <laughs> that is intelligent. So hopefully you're drinking. Maybe Dennis G's out there. He seems to be pretty intelligent. The more vodka he drinks, the more intelligent he gets. But again, 888-565-1470. Toll free so you don't have to pay for the call. Now, let me ask you something about your, your Christmas party. Okay? Uh, do you have to make reservations for this? Well, or open, to the, just open to the public. Tomorrow night starts 7 p.m. My whole staff will be there, uh, mix and drinks, uh, put some food out, um, like free champagne between 7 and 9 p.m. We're going to have live music, as I said, and uh, the party's going to go on until 3 a.m. Mm. In fact, I'm going to stop there. In fact, I'm going to be over there tonight. I'm going to go to all your places. i got to go see Sue at that bar that I'll make my rounds. Like Santa Claus, I go from <laughs> place to place. you got to get the golf cart. I don't need a golf cart. I just stumble along. I usually use your valet or Motorano's yeah. valet. 
Uh, you know, uh, the, the car uh, one. Yeah, that's it. Well, that's the best part about the whole area because you don't have to have a car. Mm -hmm. You can walk to seven different bars. You can walk to nine different restaurants. Um, anything you can possibly want to make the evening perfect. If you want, it's an art, entertainment, restaurant, shopping district. The shoppings, the shops are open. They have boutiques on yeah, that street. Yeah. I mean, it's just amazing just what goes on there. Mm -hmm. I, I remember Walter Shaw, okay, was going to open up that uh, Porn Fellas. But what fell through was the, uh, was Tom Sizemore, I think he ended up back in rehab or something. But he had the guys from The Sopranos. We had a big black party there. We had... Sly Stallone's brother Frank played that night. Yeah, we came out. We supported them in the beginning. <laughs> you know, it, it just didn't happen. It was a great idea. It just, you know, I'm just not didn't... sure what happened there. Uh, I, I, you never get a right. You never get the straight answer from some people in that town. <laughs> Although he's got the stars in there. No, notice his stars. They're still on the ground. <laughs> <yeah. laughs> they haven't chiseled them out yet. Uh, one night we're going to get drunk and steal that sign. <laughs> The sign is worth money. I think it's going to be worth a lot of money. Okay, one probably <laughs> it's probably wired or something. Who knows? Yeah. Again, eight eight eight. Five six five fourteen seventy. Give us a call here. What? What? You? Your place in Rochester. You had that for what? About fifteen? No, it's been about ten years. Ten yeah, years. A little, little under ten. And uh, we, you know, we we've been uh, kind of a staple up there in Rochester, and we decided to expand. I had my eye on this area for a couple of years. I really believe in it, just like you guys. Yeah, it's terrific. And once I once I got in the area, I met Nick. It's just been a great relationship with with his business and my business and. All the other places there, I've gotten to know everybody in the neighborhood, and they're all fantastic. And just if you're not from the area, across the street is the Gold Ocean Mall, which is some of the most expensive real estate here in South Florida. Up the block is Lauderdale by the Sea. Again, you better have some checkles if you're moving over there. You got the Hermitage, the building there. I remember I went to a private party there, the hockey player, the Russian guy. $12 million in 19, uh, 2002. Had yeah. two indoor pools. Yeah. I mean, is, that's a penthouse on a thirty. Something about being in a pool on a, like the fortieth floor of a building. <laughs> I mean, it can't do do you good because when you look out, you get a little dizzy. I know I do. I don't like heights, <laughs> you know. But that's some of the best real estate over it, there. It really is. The Gualto Miles oh, yeah. come a long way. All of those buildings have been rehabbed. Mm -hmm. um, it's one mile of buildings from. It starts at Flamingo. It goes to Oakland Park Boulevard. Eighteen buildings, four thousand eight hundred condominiums within walking distance. Of, our, of my bar and, and then you got Frank Tallarico's hotel Frank Tallarico's yeah, the yeah, ocean. Ocean. that's the Ocean Manor mm -hmm. and he's opening a new restaurant right. in the lobby yeah, him and Emmett yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. which I'm going to go Casa. ahead and talk to him about that and it's called Casa Calabria mm -hmm. opens in three weeks you know it's amazing that that area is exploding I mean I see these women running the, constantly early in the morning there because I get up with the birds and I only live up the block and some of these women got more testosterone than I do or any left, let's put it this way. Some of them, you know, it's funny, as they get older, my, my, my wife, last time, last, you know, around Christmas time, about three, four years ago, I went to bed with Cameron Diaz and I woke up with ZZ Top. <laughs> she had menopause in the middle of, in the middle of the day. I, I, how does this happen? And I said, Boy, baby, you don't look right. She said, why? What do you know? <laughs> you don't talk about a testosterone rush, right? So needless to say, that marriage went out the window. Especially here in South Florida. Some of my friends have been married so many times they got rice marks on their face. <laughs> well, once they, Dennis doesn't even call him by name. He gives them numbers. One, two, three, four, five. You know, because he lived in Vegas. Yeah, but, uh, you know, down here you run into a lot of people. You got some. You know, this isn't as much a transit state as, as the other coast. Over here we got people that have been around here a they, long, yeah, long, long time. Long You're time. absolutely right. You got seasonal people, but we got enough people to go around even off season. Oh, yeah. And we're, we're, we're a neighborhood. Everybody knows each other. From the shop owners to the residents, mm -hmm. uh, we look forward for the snowbirds to come down. But when they're not here, we like to think we're the last little Italy, the little Italian neighborhood. Yeah, it's about and three, that, four blocks, and that's it. And that's it. And there's still room to grow. And oh, the yeah. city there's council seems to be working with everybody in that area right now. I remember Wally Brewer, who used to own a lot of bars around there. Wallace. A good friend passed away. Now it's Blue Jean Blues. He couldn't get an ordinance. Him and uh, uh, I think it was Mike, Mike Lynch, they tried to open a small place similar to the wine bar. And because of parking, they couldn't do it. Yet they let everybody else in later on. I guess they got it. We're exempt from parking now, now that we're zoned an entertainment district. So anybody could open a restaurant or a bar. Parking is not an issue anymore. Yeah, a right. lot of people take Uber over there now. I noticed that. I know a lot of people that don't even drive anymore because they live in the that's immediate the best area. Thing you do, get dropped off and then you walk then around you, those four know, blocks. And then you can drink and get, get that's it. in an Uber and get home. So, I mean, it's everywhere, the Uber men. 565-1470. That's 888-565-1470. We got a gift certificate. We got a couple of them to give away over here. 
Get on the phones if you got anything intelligent to say. Uh, we'll come back to you in a little bit. We're going to go to a break. Come back with Nick and Chris here on the Mixler Show. 616's the time. Don't go away. Today in school, I learned a lot. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes me. In English, I learned that I'm disgusting. And in physics, I learned that I'm a loser. Today in school, I learned that I'm ugly and useless. And in gym, I learned that I'm pathetic and a joke. In history, I learned that I'm trapped. Today in school, I learned that I have no friends. In English, I learned that I make people sick. And at lunch, I learned that I sit on my own because I smell. In chemistry, I learned that no one likes In biology, I learned that I'm fat and stupid. And in math, I learned that I'm trash. The only thing I didn't learn in school today... The only thing I didn't learn today... The only thing I didn't learn... Is why no one ever helps. Kids witness bullying every day. They want to help, but they don't know how. Teach them how to stop bullying and be more than a bystander at stopbullying.gov. A message from the Ad Council. I remember the, I remember the, moment. I remember the moment. I'll never forget that moment. As long as I live. As long as I live. A storage tank ruptured, and for miles, chemicals were pushing up against the riverbanks. This was a big, big deal, and it was going to have a serious impact on communities up and down the river. I remember the moment this local guy came up to me and said, they call the guard out for this stuff? He probably thought we were all about hurricanes, tornadoes, fighting Mother Nature. Hey, it's a chemical spill. It's a disaster. It affects the water supply, threatens wildlife. We're talking about the health of entire communities and people's livelihoods. You bet we're ready for these kinds of things. We were out there with booms to prevent the spill from expanding. We were responsible for protecting and monitoring the sensitive wetlands. I also remember the moment that same guy came up to me and said, I don't know what we would have done if they hadn't called the guard up. Learn more about how you can protect your friends, families, neighbors, and the environment. Everything that makes up your community. Go to NationalGuard.com. Sponsored by the Florida National Guard. Aired by the Florida Association of Broadcasters and this station. 618, back on the show, the Mick Bazzilli Show. Here in, I guess it's dark out now, huh? Ford loaded there. Did the front come through yet? It was, it was like 85 degrees for like the 4th of July. I was looking at small animals walking on the roadside. They were exploding from the heat. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just ridiculous. It felt like the 4th of July. I was going to go down to the fireworks store and buy myself some room and candles. Well, this is all winter. Okay, 888-565-1470. Let's go to the phone and Roger. Welcome to the show, Roger. Oh, good evening. Do you like 33rd and uh, 32nd Street? Sorry? Do you like it down here in Fort Lauderdale? Oh, I do. Um, my wife and I just actually discovered uh, the intercultural area of Oakland Park Boulevard. And we the first place we hit, which you're probably going to laugh at us, was the uh, the dive bar. And uh, we went in there, had a couple of drinks. Um, actually, the burgers were pretty good. Then we started to investigate the area, and uh, we're just amazed at that, that entire area. It's really grown. I remember it years ago, and now every time I go down, I say, this reminds me of the Soho District down in New York. Because every, it seems every place got entertainment. Every place has got, you know, this, 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 every place... Nothing, no two places are alike, and that's what I like. I mean, nothing, nothing like being on the water. I, I lived for seven years in Fells Point, which is in Baltimore, which uh, was the original port of Baltimore. Nothing but wharf bars and original bars like uh, the... Horse that's horse, a tourist trap, you know, that place. Came in on. It was just uh, it was a great, great place, and this is what it reminded me. kind of took me back to... Um, that that was the, those kind of settings and great restaurants, great foods, great entertainment, great people. You like music? Oh uh, yeah, my wife and I just love uh, love the music. Have you, have you been to Tony D's yet? No, we have not. You are now. I'm going to be going there. Is Tony Tony sit right? Uh, Tony D's is right here. Chris, he's got a gift certificate for you. Okay, oh, give wow. give uh, Kenny and uh, your address, and I'll send it out to you right away. And maybe we'll oh, see you there. When you come in, say hello. Ask come in for me. Ask for Chris, oh, who's the right. owner. And, uh, and go ahead and drop around and go see my good friend Nick over here, too, and go get yourself a cigar. All right, a cigar. <laughs> Macanudo's my favorite. Do you smoke cigars at all? I'm a Patel fan. Yeah. Well, you like cigars? Uh, guys, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thanks that. for your call. Okay, 888-565-1470. 1-888-565-1470. I tell you the truth, you know, people stumble into that area, and they're hooked. Yeah. I mean, where else can you go and have an assortment of everything? You know, we don't have a Chinese restaurant there, do we? Well, that was the 
that was the store right next to the cigar bar that I bought and transformed into the luxury lounge. But it was today. a takeout joint. Yeah, though. but it was Chinese. It was the only one. Right? And what we have, we're all Italians. What was the name of it? King Fang Gu. What was the name of that place <laughs> over there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, I think that was the, the Chinese name. restaurant. He got run out of town. That's the only place he go with the guy with the guy's name was O'Brien, and he ran a Chinese restaurant. Tom Collins. I ordered a, I ordered a Mai Tai. The guy's name was Mai Tai. He brought me a Tom Collins. I don't understand. I tell you, it's crazy. But I, I got to say, honestly and truthfully, I see you know more more things happening there. What they're doing now is they're trying to accommodate. Is there going to be multi-story parking there? But your wife, they're, your wife would tell us more than that. They're, they? they're looking into a parking for there as far as Bo Campers is putting in a parking lot. Now they tore down the fire station. Right. So there's a little bit, a little more we parking. Can, we can definitely use more parking. The yeah, area we have LA. There is LA available. Yeah, more, more than one has LA. You have LA too. And you know, I'll tell you one thing. I always, my car's right up front because I always give the guys a 20 over there. But the point is, you can walk anywhere. Nobody breaks the chops. No. Yeah. Uh, Everything's walking the distance. Yeah. It's a safe area. You can walk to Bo everything. Campers has valet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Monterano's has valet. We're right next door. So you could use their valet. Yeah, I, but you're easy enough, too, because you, you, you're 12, 12 steps from Steve Monterano's front door. Yo, cuz. I, I, yo, cuz. Right? <laughs> you know the story behind that, why he says yo, cuz? But he didn't invent that. People say that up no, there. I, know. I think I said that 40 years ago. I know. It was an Italian thing. Like, you say, hey, Cugine. Cugine yeah. is my cousin. Mm -hmm. Hey, Cugine, how are you? But with him, it's different. He transformed the Italian word to the English word, cousin, cuz. He can't remember anybody's name. No, he calls everybody cuz. Can't he remember Nick. He can't remember, can't remember Nick. He can't remember Chris. It's easy to say, yo, cuz, yo, cuz, to anybody that walks past him. All night, every night. Yo, cuz, because yeah, he can't remember different. nobody's name. He was the, you know, I was there the night he threw out Madonna. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah, he threw Madonna out. Why, did she try to put salt and pepper on his dish? <laughs> <laughs> no, she wasn't happy with the table. Because he doesn't allow that. I saw him, I saw him bounce her out, and I saw her bounce Liza Minnelli out. No and her way. husband, remember that guy dated with the bow tie all the time? He was always in a tuxedo. Yeah. She said, take him with you, threw him right through the red out, red out. Don't yeah. come back to my restaurant no more. I like his menus. My food, my way, don't break my balls. Oh, right on make, the menu. And don't make no changes. You're not allowed. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. If you're a diabetic, eat what I get. Go to the emergency room, have a puppy stomach. You're not getting anything else. 888 565 1470. Gift certificate to Tony D for 50 bucks. You're going to love it. Nikki Cigars. He's even got a couple of cigars. But if you don't smoke cigars, you're not getting a gift certificate. You got to go in and smoke cigars. Mine's the Macanudo. That's my favorite. And I got them. I know I you, got them. you got them. You got them. You got You got gift items over there too. You know, last minute Absolutely. shopping. Last minute shopping. You're gonna have to go in. I tell you, if you got a boss or somebody, you don't know what to get. Them. Nothing better than a free cigar. I always said that when I was a kid. Nothing better than a box of cigars. You know, it's it's it's, it's literally fantastic. Man. You, you stop know. over and get a gift certificate from Tony D's and go get a cigar, wrap it in a box. That's it. I love box of cigars. You sell all the accoutrements that goes with the cigar smoking, the lighters, the cutters. The I sell a lot of per the Perdomo products. Nikki Perdomo was a sponsor of the trivia show with us for many years. Right? Jeff of the great Jeff the Forest, myself, Paulie Man, and Dave Gurgles Gurgle use. A cigar aficionado. You can meet Nick Perdomo and Billy Perdomo in February. They're going to be at the cigar bar. The date hasn't been set yet, but we will announce it. If you go to the website, mm -hmm. www.cigarrepublicusa, you'll see the list of events. Uh, I can tell you Rocky Patel is going to be there February 17th. Mm -hmm. That's so good. if anybody wants to meet Rocky, Mr. Rocky Patel himself, he'll be at Cigar Republic USA. Yeah. Well, you know, you always get some. The other night I was drinking with Mrs. Muhammad Ali. We had... The former wife the of the former Ali. Ali. He said I, thought, several. I said yeah, I was a Joe Fraser fan. She said as soon as we got divorced, <laughs> I was a Joe Fraser fan. <laughs> yeah, we had Kalila Ali. There. Kalila, what a nice she woman. was signing autographs and what a fun gal. We had a good time that night. We were laughing like shit. Sure it was yeah. really great. So you, now you got your hat and you read it down here in Fort Lauderdale. You're open four weeks. Five four, weeks. Five weeks. Five yeah. weeks. And already the place long. Been, been a long reconstruction. Oh, yeah, it took I started forever. in January. <laughs> yeah, but you got to got to say, you know, it's a labor of love. You know, as this area grows and grows, you're going to be entrenched. Yeah. You know, I remember in certain areas in Little Italy growing up, and now they're like Angelos. Yeah. Angelos wasn't always there in Little Italy. You know, and the, and the fact is they moved and they expanded. There's a couple others that were even down here, not Umberto's. I think it was Zuccarelli's was in Little Italy also. And they no, it wasn't. It was. It wasn't called Umberto's. The one that is, they closed it. Yeah, that was Brooklyn. 
Okay, now this was a little litly because I, the girl who won the one over here also won the one a little litly because I knew the cooks. And I went in there with my ex-wife and I said, this. it's like we're back in South Florida because everybody who was here is over here now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's funny how they travel. You know, but we have a lot of talent here. We got a lot of great restaurants. I come from Long Island. And if you make bad food up there, like if, if you had to deliver the Domino's pizza or anywhere, they stab you. Because the food is, you know, they won't eat it. So what, what they do is that, you know, you come down here and I say square mile for square mile, I'll put these restaurants up over here against anybody I grew up at. And I mean that. There's, there's a lot of good stuff down here. Yeah, it's, it's, it's getting better. Yeah, and it has to stay better. Even the Chinese food, the Rainbow Palace, the home of the $100 bowl of rice. I mean, I, you know, you walk it's a in very there, good I never anything like it. It no, is good. It is. It's, I mean, an it's expensive perfect. Chinese restaurant. I, I, keep wait, you go? I keep waiting for Indiana Jones to pop out. Ah, you Dr. Jones. <laughs> they come out with their hatchets. But is it expensive for what? You get a bag of food f five inches by five inches by eight inches, one hundred and eighty-four dollars. <laughs> what, what could possibly be in there? A human head? I mean, really, what yeah. would you pay one hundred and eighty-four dollars at a Chinese restaurant for? So vegetables. Yeah. Vegetables. That's a fancy duck. <laughs> duck. <laughs> All right, Peking duck. Eight eight eight. Eight eight eight. I gotta be careful with that. Eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy. We're having a good time here today. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta make arrangements, boys and girls out there. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? You know, for New Year's Eve. For New Year's I, Eve. I got the main man right here. Call, call up at Tony D's. It's uh, 954-440-2151. Check us out at TonyD's.net. We're open for New Year's. Uh, book your table now. We're giving free champ free bottle of champagne for every table. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, make is it, it a full menu? Full uh, menu. Full we're doing menu. our we're doing our menu. It's, uh, we're, not doing a, mm -hmm. we're not doing a uh, one price. You uh, can you, so you can come in and enjoy you know a, a finer dining, or you can just come in. Any and, cover and, charge on no these? No cover nothing, charge. No. So you just come in and have dinner, and you can Correct. sit sit there till midnight. Mm. Stay till midnight. You can it, it, salute the next year with us with the champagne toast at midnight. Free bottle at every table. And no cover charge. And no, and no that, 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 Now listen, my people out there, McDonald's charges $10 on New Year's Eve just to get in. <laughs> Am I right or wrong? It's got to be the one. And you're going to have some, you're going to... Absolutely. We're, we're basically an after-dinner bar, so. Okay. Um, our doors are open to the public. There's no reservation. There's no preset price. We are doing a champagne toast at midnight. We're going to have live music. We're going to be dancing, smoking cigars. We're going to make a mess. So come down and join us. A complete mess. And, and if I'm not mistaken, you got a 4 o'clock license on that day? No. They didn't, they didn't push you to 4? No, we are 2 o'clock license Monday through Thursday. And then Friday and Saturday night, we get the extra hour. Open till 3 a.m. Okay, 3 a.m. Okay, yeah, after that, you're going to be inebriated anyway. Yeah, you're you stay need, up to you four need, need to be out till after okay, 3 a.m. you stay up to 9.30 half the time and night. It doesn't matter because at, at, at 3 a.m., we're all coming to your house to finish drinking. That's yeah. okay. <laughs> Actually, we're going to another bar that just opened. When we all close, we go, Chris and I and all the bar owners, to a bar called Just One More. Which is on Ooh. the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Really? I wasn't yeah. aware of that. Yeah, nice just little highway. There's Michael uh, there and Mike his wife, Gal, yeah, yeah, the owner. Very nice. Right on the, right the other side. Same yeah. side of the road as you, but... Yeah, behind you know. Fossils, behind the Greek restaurant. Really? Yes, yeah, so you got to walk over four lanes of traffic. But that's where everybody <laughs> meets. <laughs> that's where everybody gets <laughs> the, <laughs> the bar. Post instead. <laughs> just one more. It's called Just One More. But it's a misnomer. Doesn't make sense, because every time him and I go in, it's five more. Yeah, well, that's... He needs to change the name. So, me and Nick are going to go there one night and change the name. We're going to get a ladder and put five more. We're gonna yeah, we're gonna get drunk and just change it to five more. <laughs> Why not do that? I mean, what's the difference? I think it's crazy. <laughs> You'll run into everybody in the neighborhood too. All the, the twins come over from Blue Jeans. Yes. You'll see Scott. You'll uh, see uh, the the girls from, from Fish Tales. The girls, the girls, the girls. You know, like like I told Candace, why don't you just cut your hand off and weld the wine glass to it? I mean, I'd never see one out of wine glass on my hand. All right, the twins when they're sober they're crazy. You ever see them when they get wound up? <laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, I want to run and hide from these people. Yeah. The other night when I walked into that bar, it was a private party. There, I wasn't drinking. Worst mistake I ever made. I, I, I had a couple of drinks at your place, Nick, and then I went over, and I, I said the place was packed. It was a party for uh, Ghost Ocean Mile Realty. Oh, was so it? So I ordered a drink. I said I'm not with it, but I'll pay. I don't care. Next thing I know. So I met Sue Shapiro. She came over, and I ended up, she, we were sampling the different vodkas that she had. Then I got up, and I sang karaoke, two or three songs. 
Next thing you know, it was 2 o'clock in the morning. Nice. The guy wasn't going to go out and have a couple of drinks. I mean, it was insane. They got to live right around the corner, but the point is... Nice people, husband and wife own it. Sam's yeah, a great yeah, guy. Yeah, 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 from Boston. And I'll tell you the truth, I liked it. I felt comfortable there. She made me feel wonderful. And, and i tell you the truth, I'll go back. And, and I will go back. Yeah, they treat you right there. I, I don't think there's anybody on the block that I don't like. Maybe two people. But I'm not going to mention them on the show. And I learned a long time ago, the way you get away with it, ignore them. <laughs> I learned that from Neil Rogers. If he didn't assassinate my character, he, he, you know, he actually helped me by telling me I was a thug. But it worked. It's when Neil didn't talk about you. That's when your career went. Pssst. That was the end of you. You know, you ran out of you ran out the door. Eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy. Give me your, uh, your your phone number again for reservations. We're going to do that a couple of times. Both of you guys. Now, uh, Tony D's is nine five four 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 zero two one five one. Okay, and that's, and that's right right next to Nikki, right around the corner. Yeah, within walking we're distance gonna, of the city. Yeah, take Uber, and here's my advice to you all. Don't even drive. Take Uber, get there about 9, 30, 10 o'clock, reserve your table, say hi to Chris, say hi to Nikki, go in, and then at the end of the night, take Uber home, wake up with a hangover, and watch football on the couch all day long, and you have yourself a great New Year's Eve. That's right. I mean, I, I, can't, I can't see it doing any other thing. We're open, we're open the next night also, so we're, it's a long weekend. Well, that's the night I go to the hospital and have my little <laughs> squeeze. So we're open the whole weekend. It's a nice long one. 888-565-1470. Gift certificate to give out here to Tony D's. Anybody who hasn't been there, it's a great invitation. We're going to take a break. We'll come back right after this. You're on WWNN Radio, the time 632. Are you thinking about getting your GED diploma? Well, here at the GED Pep Talk Center, we've got a number of pep talks that can motivate you. Sometimes things don't always turn out the way you want them to. You know that feeling? People look at you and don't believe in you. You want some gentle encouragement. Then you're on your way to your GED diploma and a better life. But I know you're probably just a little bit nervous. You can find it in yourself to take that first step. You can improve your future. You can do this. I know you can. You need to start pushing yourself. Now get your game face on and take the first step towards a better life. Hurry up. Don't make me repeat myself. Whatever level of motivation you need to get your GED diploma, we've got a pep talk that's right for you. Call 1-877-38-YOUR-GED or visit yourged.org for your pep talk and find free GED classes in your area. GED is a registered trademark of the American Council on Education. Brought to you by Dollar General Literacy Foundation and the Ad Council. Are you looking for a different school for your child? Where he or she can grow and succeed in ways you've only dreamed about? Well, we have some good news. You have options. We're a nonprofit organization called Step Up for Students. And we award scholarships for children in Florida so they can attend the kindergarten through 12th grade school that best meets their learning needs. You choose. One scholarship helps pay for private school tuition or assist with transportation costs to attend a public school in another county. And now, Step Up for Students also helps children with special needs with the Personal Learning Scholarship account. Customize your child's education. Visit StepUpForStudents.org to learn more. It could change your child's life. Again, visit us at StepUpForStudents.org and find the best learning environment for your child. Every child deserves a chance to succeed. Six thirty-four here on fourteen seventy WWNN broadcasting out of the Beasley Studios in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, Paradise, the Emerald City, the Golden City, the place where men are men and women are men. You can't go through. I tell you the truth. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you know. You got you got the gay community over here in, in Wilton Manors, of course, and we have a lot of gay people that come down to the area over there. You know, on 33rd, 34th, you know. And I tell you the truth, we should have something like a gay parade or something, because they really dress well over there. <laughs> you know, I tell you, no, no, you know, it's been going back for a long time. You know, Pocahontas had a gay brother. His name was Pocahontas. I mean, you know, it's been going back for years and years and years. And, and I got a friend of mine. He used to work at Michelle's. He's a great bartender, and he's funny as heck, but he's a gay man. And I tell you the truth, he called me the other day. He goes, Nick, you know where I can get a job around town? And I said, uh, you, uh, you, you look like Bruce Jimmy yet? He said, no, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm straight. I ain't going through that. I ain't losing my thing. 
All right? Unbelievable. 888-565-1470. I see your faces looking at me. I don't want nothing to do with this one. No, 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 it's fun. No, we welcome all down there. Oh, yeah, everybody. Yeah, everybody. everybody welcome. We have a good time. And I'll tell you the truth. I love it. I think it's going to be a second home. And I go up to Boca and I go up to Atlantic Boulevard, but that's a little schlep, you know, to go all the way up there. And, then, you know, Atlantic Boulevard up in, what is it, Delray, you know, it, it starts uh, Atlantic Avenue, pardon me. And you, you got about 150 restaurants there by the time you get to the end. I think if I get thrown out of the first one, by the time I get to the last one, there'll be new owners in the first one. I can start all <laughs> over again. I just go up and down the strip. That's a long strip. I, you know, you know, they got a place called uh, 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 what is it? Uh, Vinny and uh, Vinny and it's right by the railroad tracks. Angel right? and Vinny's. Or yeah, right? that's yeah. Second yeah. Angel. Second Angel. And that Rick, and that train goes by at like seventy miles an hour, and you got all these drunks walking around. <laughs> How come nobody's gotten peppered there yet? <laughs> I mean, I, and it's only like seven feet from the bar when it comes by. It used to be romantic, and so I, when I went there a couple of times, it turned out that I was drunk, and I didn't care. When I was sober, I was horrified with that train going by. Oh, it's got to jump a track. It just needs some vodka in you. But, um, yeah, so, a lot of it, you know? Yeah, with, the, with orange juice. They know you drink. They did, right? But I'll tell you, and then soda at the end of the night, and then finally just vodka straight. <laughs> and then, you know, it's like everybody else in that neighborhood over there. They start out light. By the end of the night, they drink it they're out of the bottle. They're sideways. <laughs> That's the whole trick down there. So, Mickey, let me ask you, who makes the best drink in my bar? I got to say JoJo does. Yeah. Okay. JoJo's right on top she, of it. She, she makes sure the orange juice is perfect. Well, you know, she's a chemistry major. I didn't she's, know a, she's, a, she's a mixologist certified. Really? I didn't know that. Is, yeah. is that actually a college course now? Yeah. Lunch was a, it was three credits. It's, it's the right amount of orange juice versus vodka. Pa- two parts versus one part. Uh, yeah, she's she's I tell you, she makes it good. All right? Joe Joe's a pal. Everybody knows yeah, her. we got good staff there. I mean, Cindy's a great, great blonde too. I Absolutely. Enjoy you know, and, and the others I don't know much because they don't, they don't work the times that I, you know, I come in there. Well, you're a day guy. I you know, there's day guys and there's night guys. So at, you. <laughs> <laughs> so at night we have we have three or four that you haven't met yet. Beautiful girls. Mm-hmm. Everybody has a different personality. Um, we have uh, Nicole mm-hmm. who works a couple nights mm-hmm. a week. Ex penthouse mm-hmm. pet. Should we really? take a look at her? Is yeah. penthouse even a magazine anymore? Uh, <laughs> no, it's it's the top floor of every building. Yeah, <laughs> 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 so uh, we we have uh, Brittany. Supermodel, mm-hmm. runway model. Mm-hmm. Come take a look at her. Runway eighty four. Oh yeah. <laughs> And they ate in Bruno's place. And of course, we have Cindy, the Peruvian sensation. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, great girls. You'll see them all. Don't you think a head's too big for a body? You know, Peruvian people have big heads. Yeah. You ever notice? I always think that maybe a head superimposed. Well, listen, I, I didn't stare. I mean, I looked at her. She looks pretty symmetrical. <laughs> <laughs> the more I drink over there, the more people. The other day, I was looking at Candace, and it looked like I was looking at her through the back of a spoon. Her face was growing longer and longer. I said, what the hell? You know what's bad? You go over there, you don't have liquor. So if you drink vodka all day long, you go have two glasses of wine, you hallucinate. Yeah. Oh. I mean, you really, you, it's like, you, How it's much like, wine can you it's like you're smoking flacca. I mean, I was walking down the street, I saw some guy chewing on another guy's arm. I mean, it's terrible over there. Wow. I got to tell you a story. Some of the people come to that area are up in their 80s and 90s. Okay, the other day, it rained like hell last weekend. Remember, I think it was Saturday night. I was sitting outside visiting uh, Fishtails, Claudia, she's my neighbor, and she's the barmaid there on the outside bar, and I was watching, they were all in the cars, you know, guys with suits on and wigs, and you know, you don't know, you know, all of a sudden it stopped, right. I'm talking about it poured, Chris, it poured, and this was, I think, Saturday night, or Friday night, I can't remember, it was, I think Saturday night, all of a sudden they tried to make a run for it. With the walkers it came, <laughs> it started to run again, and it was got foggy because you know the street was so hot it schwitzed, and it was like out of the steam. It looked like an episode from The Walking Dead, <laughs> and I felt so bad. By the time they got to the wine bar, one guy's ha- hair slipped off in front of his face. It looked like cousin it. All right, it was a wet T-shirt contest for ninety-year-old women. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, and I gotta assume that a ninety-year-old woman is like Australia. Everybody knows what's down there, but nobody gives a damn. Okay? <laughs> The fact of the matter was, I said to myself, what the heck is this all about? Okay, just crazy, crazy. They couldn't make it. I wanted to go out and help them, but I was afraid. They were hit me with those swizzle sticks they carry. Unbelievable. 888-565-1470. 888-565-1470. If you have a half a brain. Remember that song? Peter, 
Yeah, do you like pina coladas? If you have half a brain, yeah. Do you know that, that song? Was, that was. Uh, if you like yeah, pina yeah. coladas, right? I hate that song. What do you mean? If you have half a brain, I don't think that was what he said. Yeah, that that yeah. says it. If you have half a brain, yeah. And you got to listen to the words of him. It was his wife. It was his wife. He was writing a letter. Oh, it's you. You slut. He ends up meeting her. <laughs> Right. He, he, she's in the, she's looking for a guy. He's he looking, looking for a girl, and he goes, and then "I'll meet up. you." I say, "You miserable slut!" <laughs> <laughs> right? Do while you're doing the same I can't thing. get away from you. Right? You're right. I was looking for someone else. Both <laughs> depressed. We were stuck with each other from birth. I can't take it. They always <laughs> said there's an ass for every seat, but I tell you the truth, that song gets me. Today, I was the Christmas songs. The traffic was unbearable. All right, somebody I was cut off like 19 times by the same guy. I'm sorry. Uh, the same. I apologize. Now on air. It was me. Okay, that was not the, you I drove here with him. It was definitely next. <laughs> yeah. and, and they had this one Christmas song on. All right. First they started. They got me wound up with those freaking things with the high voices. What are you called? The chipmunks. <laughs> All right. Then it was the twelve days of Christmas. By the time they got to the maids milking, I snapped. <laughs> I snapped. I mean, my blood pressure was going up. I started to hit the stick. I said, I'm not going to make it on time. I left like an hour, you know, I'm right down the block. I mean, the traffic, and to make matters worse, all of a sudden, two of the lights were out. And it looked like, you know, nobody gives a, you know, it's supposed to be the season of love. Let the guy go. No. No, no. Every man for himself. And you think, they, where, where were the cops? Put a cop out there. How long does it take the cop to get there? I mean, really, if I threw he a piece of paper, if I, <laughs> if I threw a piece of paper out the window, there'd be one right there. I'd hit him. Yeah. I mean, all of a sudden, you can't get there. I mean, where are the police when you need them? They're in our bars drinking. Ah, <laughs> I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> I, 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 the, the, the Milky Maids and the Figgy Pudding, uh, that song with the Figgy Pudding. We don't have Figgy Pudding in Italian households. That's I don't even know what Figgy Pudding is. I'm not sure I've ever heard of it. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> we're having Figgy Pudding. We're having... Did you hear that song? <laughs> I snapped the figgy pudding. I, I tell you the truth, I blew up with the figgy pudding because I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Like it. But we don't have it here. He was English. He's British. They eat that stuff over there. They ever have goose? How could anybody eat that disgusting bird? I mean, you want to talk about the squirts? That thing's like an X-lax. It's a flying X-lax. <laughs> who would eat a Who would eat a goose? <laughs> I mean, come on, well, they're ugly. First of all, they got a neck longer than the half the people I know. <laughs> don't get me started with I start myself. I don't need the money to start. <laughs> what am I doing here? <laughs> all right, 888-565-1470. We're cutting up here on the show. We're going to go to a break and come back for the last segment, I guess. Okay, in the time here on WW, we're having a bowl. I tell you, I'm going to go down to your place today. We'd we'd love to have, have you. Yeah, you better okay. come. Everybody who's listening, we'll come down. We'll have a ball. Come down. Come on, we'll have a party tonight. Everything's great. Your time, 643. For almost 10 years, I've been a lineman for the power company. It's hard work up here on the wires, long, dangerous hours. And at times like this, when storms roll through, I really appreciate how much people rely on me. I know that service is important. That's why I also serve in the Coast Guard Reserve. In the Coast Guard Reserve, our crews respond to rising floodwaters in the Midwest, oil spills in the Gulf of Mexico, and disasters like the Haiti earthquake. The Coast Guard Reserve is a challenge I gladly take on because my country needs me. It has a lot in common with my full-time career, and just like other first responders, firemen, police officers, and EMTs, we do our best work when things are their worst. I have no doubt I was born for this. If you were born ready to give more to your country, the Coast Guard Reserve is ready for you. Learn more at GoCoastGuard.com. Sponsored by the United States Coast Guard in cooperation with the Florida Association of Broadcasters and this station. One thing I learned from my counselors is to keep it cool, that I can't strive to be better. They built my spirit back up. I got one brother, he's in and out of prison. He's on his way back to prison now. I got one brother in the graveyard now. And I just got to make a change for my mother. I don't want to be the next victim or statistic. Even kids with a troubled past have the potential to reach a bright future. It made me realize life isn't all about drugs, gangs, street life and all that. It's more about family, loyalty, and getting education. With guidance and direction, young people can be inspired to discover the best that is within them. AMI Kids empowers kids to reach that potential by transforming their lives. 
For more information, visit our website and join us. Hmm? Together we can change lives and strengthen our communities. For more information, visit amikids.org. That's real. Unbelievable, huh? 645 back on WWNN Radio. Okay, we're having a good time here with Chris and Nick. We're talking about... We're talking about nonsense. North Beach shops. <laughs> North Beach shops. We're talking about nonsense. I, I don't know. Let's talk about something near and dear to me. Let's talk about my penis. But no, <laughs> the fact of the matter is, when you when you <laughs> when you look at um, when you, you know, I was thinking of Bruce Jenner just now. Would you actually go through with that operation? I mean, I don't even want a doctor pointing his finger in my face, and you know, doing something you know, like a colonoscopy or something like that. I don't know the details of what he had done. I I look. I see a man. I don't know what everybody else sees. He's a beautiful woman. I look at him. A beautiful woman? He's 65 years old. I know people 65 years old. I don't know what they're talking about. I don't know either. He was a he was an athlete, you know. How did he decide one day at 64 years old, you know what? I want to be a woman. Yeah. I mean, I know if I was a woman, I'd be the ugliest woman on the freaking planet. <laughs> I, I couldn't get a date. I couldn't get a date in a Heidi Fleiss pool party with a fistful of roofies, as Depot would say. <laughs> Okay, it just wouldn't happen. If I had $50 bills stuck in my hair, nobody would want me. I mean, you know, really, when you come down to it. But, you know, I, you know, it's bold. You see what the Kardashians do? They make you crazy. The other one was married to the guy who OD'd in, 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 in the house out else. there. And how many Viagra do you take? I still, I still don't know what they do. I mean, I don't know what talent they have. What exactly do they do? They put 30 Viagra? 30 Viagra, this guy had the leading tower coming out. I mean, come on, think about that for a minute. I mean, no wonder he passed out. He stopped his father chopping himself up. <laughs> mm-hmm. I mean, you know, this is what the Kardashians do. They make you crazy. And now finally the the, the, the woman turned the husband into a woman. Yeah, right? What's next? <laughs> the only what else thing is left is to do? They can swap clothes now. <laughs> I mean, really, that's got to be the ultimate insult. My, my husband... Became a woman yeah. <laughs> and married my best friend. There <laughs> was a guy who used to cut my lawn, a Mexican. Unbelievable. 888 888 1470. You know, but you look at the news today. I mean, you, you, you can get a cerebral average just looking at the news today with, you know, with, with Hillary Clinton, with the problems over there, with ISIS. You know, I got ISIS under my bed. They got me so paranoid. I, can't, I don't know if I'm more afraid of the TSA agents at the airport or ISIS because they're both terrorist organizations as far as I'm concerned. I mean, it's got to be insanity when you think about it. Yeah. And, and yet they want to bring another three divisions here. Where are the women? You ever notice it's all guys? Don't they have any women over there? I mean, everybody who migrates from Syria it seems to be a, a, a guy. Yeah, because you can't tell the women from the men. That's why. Well, they wear those things, those burkas. <laughs> how do you know see you guys? How do you date somebody when you can't see anything but their eyes? What do you think? They have women clothing stores? They have one store. <laughs> the shop store. <laughs> it's called the burka store. <laughs> the black burka store. But no, really, how do you date? How do you take it? Do you peek under the cover? Do you, you know, well, how do you know how to? I mean, wouldn't it be funny you marry the thing? She takes it off, she's got a bigger beard than me. <laughs> <laughs> right? I married Clem. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, crazy shit. 888 565 1470. I got to give something. I guess nobody's hungry. 888 565 1470. And they're driving off the road laughing so hard. So, and New Year's Eve is going to be a blast. On, I tell you the truth, no cover charge, you know, is it, fantastic. I mean, a lot of people don't want to go, they just want to go have something to eat. Yeah. You know, do a toast and go home. Exactly. You're going to have music and everything else, and your place is wide open. I hope it's a cool night and, and not 115 degrees. It, it probably, I don't want it cold, though. No. Because that's warm. awful. Yeah. I mean. Yeah, we got the whole front door system. I mean, that that's it. You know, you got to explain it. You got a picture of it over there? You can put it on the screen so that people can see it. I got your logos up there and our happy faces. <laughs> okay, I guess uh, Freddie's gone. He's got little Freddie here. No, you don't have a picture? Okay, well, anyway, it opens up. Okay, and they're, they're almost like pocket doors, so the whole place is wide open. And I like that. You know, myself. Bar. Yeah, open door concept. But yeah, it's airy and spacious, and and, you know, and not only that, it's you've seen about four hundred people in there, right? Yeah, about, uh, a little over two hundred. Little two hundred. Yeah, looks like twice. 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 I see the five o'clock, <laughs> and then I see the yeah, seven o'clock. It's 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 <laughs> we can do we can do private banquet parties on the one side. You can uh, book, book a party for that. It's, it's a big area. I had my divorce in Frankie and Johnny's. Dennis's place. No yeah, kidding. Yeah, well, it was a great divorce party. It was wonderful. 
I mean, Dennis knows how to cater a divorce party because he's had nine of them. <laughs> I mean, he had good at him. That's how he knows what you're wrong. That's it. He, what he says is a degree. I mean, in divorce. In fact, they, they even advertise him in Rome. Yeah. Frank and Johnny's great place years ago. Remember that? Oh, and Meatball Sure. That's yeah. where I met Dennis. Yeah, yeah. coincidentally, my wife sold Frankie and Johnny. She was the real estate agent who sold it to the new owner who named it today Santa Lucia. Santa Lucia. Mm -hmm. Exactly, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, just a shout out to my wife, my lovely wife, Annette Mariani. She's one of the top real estate agents in Fort Lauderdale. She is the top real estate agent. And she owns the office Grand Ocean Realty right next door to Yoko's. Right next door to Cafe Moderon. When, when he takes a location, he just swallows the whole block. And then you come <laughs> in, it takes him years to do that. You come along in, 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 in five days and take from one end of 32nd Street to the other. Wipe everybody out. You're like the Walmart in the area. I just kept crawling down the sidewalk. That's it. That's it. I got, the, I got the cigar by the Chinese restaurant. Yeah, I, came real estate real, I came in like a, like a gang bus. Yeah. Yeah, you wiped everybody out one day. You were like Walmart came to town, and that was the end of that. I'm sure Tedesco's happy you're there. <laughs> Oop, I mentioned them. The home of the $300 bottle of wine. And I think it was Ripple, the official drink of Watts. I mean, it was terrible. $300 for a bunch of grapes. I mean, you know, really. I paid $9 for the meal. I paid $300 for a bottle of wine because I wanted to impress some salami I was with. Well, I never saw again after that night anyway, so what's the difference? Well, Chris brought you a few platters of food from Tony D's well, tonight. What am I going to do with it's that? It's in your kitchen. The and, boys can eat. and I brought you a couple of bottles of nice wine. Oh, uh, so nice. Enjoy we, we have, we have, the, 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 we have Haitian radio station right next door. Okay. I can't, I can't understand the word they say, but they, they're very nice people. <laughs> you know, they, they speak French, like, sort of, kind of. <laughs> it's Creole. Is that what that is? It's like Creole, that Elvis movie? No, no. Oh, you really would. <laughs> not is that him? You know that can't be fun. Is that, is that him? No, oh, Creole. It's a mix of uh, Haitian and, and French language. What are you getting away for Christmas? I don't know. I haven't gone shopping yet. Don't put me on the spot. It's the 18th. <laughs> Can they hear us? Can't, right let her, can't let her know. Yeah, but it's radio. Yeah, you know, we don't talk on radio. It's yet. a surprise. <laughs> Somebody cut my microphone. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Did you move down here permanently, or are you yeah, going back and forth? I, I will go back and forth, but I'm here as a permanent. Yeah. Okay, that's great. I live right in the area too, so I, I believe in the whole area. Yeah, no, there's no doubt about it. You know, especially, especially. I see. I'm not much for the beach area of. Uh, I watch him come and go over there on on on, on Fort Lauderdale Beach. You know, uh, you know, except for the elbow room, this has been there since they yeah. before uh, President Grant. You know, it's a historic landmark. Sure, the room. sure. They can't tear down the building. No. Can't deviate. Can't nope. do anything Nothing. to it. It looks the same now as it did when. Uh, what, what do you call uh, Connie, Connie Francis? That's right. Used to be able to stand up and point. That's right. <laughs> and what, what was the name? What was the name of the movie? Where the boys are. Where the boys are. That was the name of the movie. Seen that now? I know where they are. Far away. That's where they are. Yeah. What? Eight eight eight. We'll give it one last shot. Eight 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 five six five fourteen seventy. If you got enough nerve to pick up a phone and get in on the the uh, festivities over here. Okay, you're gonna love it too. Tony D's, the cigar, like the cigar republic. I mean, you know, the other day I was in there. There was this guy with a beard. He was wearing a green hat and green. It was Fidel Castro. I saw him walking right in front of me. He was trying to sell. He was trying to sell me cigars. He was trying to sell me cigars. Okay. He came in. He was wearing a jogging suit. You ever see when he wears the jogging suit? The velvet sweatsuit. Yeah, the, the velvet sweatsuit. <laughs> and he's got Fidel written on the pocket. Like nobody in Cuba knows who he is. I bet you. I bet <laughs> he's wearing those Puma sneakers that go with the velvet sweatsuit. He's, 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 he's got definitely. Fidel written on the pocket. I mean, that that that's got to be sick in itself when you come in around. Who's this guy? <laughs> Fidel. Fidel. Oh, oh, there he is. Yeah. I mean, he's crazy. It's like Saddam had the same thing. He had pajamas. That's Saddam written on it. Yeah, he ain't with... <laughs> like, they, nobody knew who he was. I mean, you know, really, when you come down to it, people just carry self-promotion just too far, if you ask me. It's crazy. What's your plans for tonight, boys? Heading back down to the... To the We're going to work. We'll be there till 2 a.m. I'll be going back and forth. He'll come over. Yeah. That's what we do. Mm-hmm. Well, it's going to be an interesting hit, night. Hit the, hit the neighborhood a little bit. Uh, you know, this is this is really an iffy day. You don't know Friday. This is Friday. Highly Christmas season. Next week is Christmas, right? It's over. And then you got the Deldrum week because everybody's recovering. And then you got, you know, this. And then finally we're into season where every day is just going yeah. to mob you. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's what it goes on. And, and I just hope, I, I hate to say it because I like when people come down. But if we get some blasted cold up uh, air up there, they, they come down like an exodus. You know, they yeah, just. They, they get down they here, fly. here fast enough. Remember, it wasn't. Last year they got what is it, a ridiculous number of snow in Buffalo, 70 inches. 
I, I don't even know. I think it was like yeah. more, more than that. I mean, how do, you, how do you get 70 inches of snow in like two days? It's impossible. Yeah. And then some areas only like four miles away. Well, that's that's what we got a dusting. We need, <laughs> we need a storm up there, and that'll drive them all south. I think they're coming anyway because after last winter, which was brutal, they went ahead and said, "Listen, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna try and save as much money as I can, you know, and, and book ahead of time." I know the cruise industry is great, despite losing 35 people every cruise. Yeah, <laughs> you know, between you know, everybody it doesn't stop them. It's just like a diarrhea boat. I mean, come on. I mean, one person gets the runs, and the whole boats. You know, they, they all get the squirts. And then, how many people get drunk? How drunk can you be to fall off a freaking boat? Yeah, pretty drunk. I mean, you got to be out of yeah. your mind. Look at that woman. They never found her husband. Mm -hmm. She was so drunk, she didn't know where he went. All right, he fell off the balcony. They don't know. They don't know. And the other, one, the other guy jumped off. They say purposely or got pushed. I mean, who even goes outside the cruise ship? I'm in the casino or I'm in the bar getting loaded. But I know enough not to go out there because that's where you're going to end up in the drink. That's right. I mean, am I right or wrong? That's you're right. right. It's crazy. I'm in the pool. We're gonna, well, I had a great time tonight. Yeah. It's hard to believe it went that fast, the hour. Wow, has it been an hour? Yeah, we, 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 we need more time. Well, I want to thank, thank. thank the boys for coming in, of course. I want to thank Jerry Grisaffi from... I'm sorry Tom Schumann wasn't here from... Uh, from uh, Rocky Mountain High, because I, I love talking with Tom also. But Jerry's great. He answered everybody's questions. And uh, Raymond from um, from Cannabis uh, Sciences. Seems he's got the bull by the horns. I want to thank all the callers. Kenny behind the boards, as usual. Been around forever with me. Uh, Freddie and, uh, and little Freddie over there. All the people here at Beasley Broadcasting. Bob Morancy, great Jody, and uh, Duff Lindsay, who's not here today. And everybody else, Nick, great job. I'm glad you came in. Chris, thank you. Hey, thank you. Thank you, thank you man. Thanks for everything. Uh, there you go. It's wonderful. I'll be back next week. I'm the Mixer. You're on WWNA Radio. Have a safe Fort Lauderdale weekend. God bless you. Catch up with you next Wait. week. Don't go away. Wait. Ciao. <laughs> Tune in again next time for more of Your Money's Worth with Mick Bazzulli. The opinions expressed on the preceding sponsored program were strictly those of its hosts, guests, and callers, and not necessarily those of the station, its staff, management, or sponsors.